Alright everybody, first match is about to unfold. It's gonna be none other than Oni Dark Necro versus Happy Nayuta. Let's go! Karu-san, kyomo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Let's go, so first match, first... Okay, I hope he sounded high enough. That should be fine, no? Okay, it is. Perfect. Let me raise the volume just for me because I'm not hearing enough sound right there as it is. But it's perfect for me now. Perfect, we are good to go, let's go! Ah, Seba, Roy-san mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Roy-san mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu, konbanwa. Amato-san mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yomizu-san mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Kenken-san mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Let's start! First match, Oni Dark Negro versus Happy Nayuta. Let's go! So Happy Nayuta actually rocking that Bridget. This is the first participation for this, uh, for this, uh, um, well, for this player. I unfortunately never, uh, had the pleasure of Commentating any of his match, I don't have any recollection of seeing him on the uh, Japanese Celestial floor either, but hopefully he will be putting up a show. That being said, unfortunately for him, he has to fight against none other than, well, uh, Oni Dark Negro, which is definitely no slouch. So, well, it's still okay. We do have a lot of upsets during this tournament. We have seen Oni Dark Negro losing to actually players who aren't that much known on the Western scene, but who actually are big threats. It wouldn't be a surprise if uh, Happy Nayuta is also one of these players. That being said, right now, you can see our Oni Dark Negro. Oh, Lord, getting... Oh, no, not getting hit by a motor. Oh, no! And the 6HS entire for the kill by Oni Dark Negro takes... Uh, the first match rather convincingly, but it is far from over. It is not over till it's over. Brisket does have a lot of, uh, well, actually has the uh, player advantage, not the player advantage, the uh, character advantage, the, the matchup advantage in this particular one. Apparently, well, arguably, uh, Bridget is, uh, it's easier to fight against Nagori Yuki with Bridget, and it's easier for her to win this matchup, but then again, when you're very strong, matchup don't mean quite a <laughs> don't mean a thing actually. That being said, look at that man, Happy Nayuta actually running over Oni Dark Negro still has a burst, reads the command grab opportunity from Oni Dark Negro, but Oni Dark Negro makes it safe using one bar of tension and this time around secures the uh secures Oh Lord and the double 2 HS Okay again with motorcycle Roger and Happy Nayuta going for this mix his tries to go for the command grab himself but unfortunately gets read by Oni Dark Negro and grabbed in the process for the kill and a big comeback for um, Oni Dark Negro also. But it's still okay, it's not over yet. Oni Dark Negro tries to get the cancel, goes for a frame kill and immediately command grabs Happy Nayuta. Oh lord, what was that? That was a sick ping pong game right here. And Air Dark Negro in the house, y'all. <laughs> oh lord, what is going on? The juggles are real, man, and Dark Macro not letting it up, definitely showing the extreme style that he's been rocking, a style that you don't necessarily see in other uh, in other Nagoriyuki players. Yes, Dark Necro, very, very Fukio heavy, man. He really likes to use this move in order to always make you guess whether or not he's got... Oh no, that was an unfortunate burst! But it's still okay for, ha for uh, Happy Nayuta. Trying to get something going, but unfortunately gets grabbed by Oni Dark Negro and again with the command grab and and he gets no oh, um, what is this? What is going on? What is this pressure, man? What are you to do? And Dark Negro gonna explode right there. Unfortunately, too far for Happy Night to get the punish, but still gets the command grab. What is gonna happen? Just one in and the clone for the kill. Oni Dark Negro already on set point. What is going to happen? We shall see. Here we go with the jump in from Dark Necro. Goes for the Fukio and the DP immediately. Goes for the back Fukio just in case. Happy Nanita was about to burst, but it's okay for Dark Necro. Happy Nanita did not have any burst in order. Oh, Lord, and the back dash on the fully charged dust. Here's your from Dark Necro. Couldn't quite get the juggle though. And Happy Nanita oh, trying to get something going. Tries to use Fiery Roger again, but again, man, the blocks from Dark Negro are real. That being said, he popped. He has popped. How is it gonna end? We shall see. And the 2 HS in the air. Hopefully for Happy Nanita. He blocked just in time. And again with the DP. Is this going to kill? Is this going to kill now? The pop. And one more chance. And he reached the DP. Back dash on the DP. And just like this, Dark Negro. But Cal is also starting to make some, uh, yeah, starting to make some waves, especially in this tournament. 
Let's see how this pans out for both of them. I personally do not know who is going to take it, but we shall see. Caffeine decides to go with the name uh, Cafe Latte. Uh, by the way, guys, if you guys know who Caffeine is, this is Caffeine. So don't worry, his name is Cafe Latte, but he decided to change the name. So I personally love the change, I'm not gonna lie. I prefer Cafe Latte to just straight up Caffeine, so this is perfect. That being said, here we go with Kalu trying to keep that corner position. Goes for the closest for the entire, but Caffeine just blocks it very, very uh, slickly. And unfortunately for Caffeine, Cal catches the backdash in the corner with the forest and goes immediately for the Wasuruyuki. Uses the um, uses the attention bar as a courtesy to shorten the animation and win the match quick for uh, more quickly. Very nice of him. Good sportsmanship. Nobody wants to see the full animation of Nakoyuki anyways, but that being said, here we go with Caffeine and the corner pressure this time around. Cal has to eat it. Big wall break right there from Caffeine. Goes for the round start. Well, I, I guess post a wall break start with the forward RC trying to see what uh, Cal was going to do. Unfortunately, Cal already had committed to a move that came quite fast and uh, caught Caffeine out of his uh, BRC animation. That is unfortunately for... Yeah, Caffeine gets unfortunately hit right on the Okizeme. Caffeine resorting to using the... No, oh, no, you hate to see it. And Cal is on the verge of getting no oh, to kill. Let's see. This is a very bad spot for oh for Caffeine. Unfortunately, he gets jumped on with uh, the jumping H, and just like this, Cal takes the first match extremely well. Not extremely. I mean, the second uh, the second uh, round could definitely have gone either ways, but Cal takes the first match. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the far S, and Cal unfortunately gets whiff punish right there with the 2D. Forces though Caffeine to pop the burst. Here we go with Caffeine and the guard point gets the grab. Goes for the cross up and the minion pressure. Goes again for a cross up. By the way, and here we go with the juggle. And he uses the tension bar in order to make his whiffed quick dust unpunishable. Very nicely done by Caffeine taking the mask off, by the way. Goes for the far H. Not the far S, I'm sorry. Counter hit. And here we go with the corner pressure. You hate to see it, man. Uh, Cal is going to have to eat it. Goes for the quick dust, unfortunately. Yeah, Cal had read it, blocked it, and punished it. This time around, it is Cal who brings the heat. Goes for a very, very big jump in right there into Iwasude Yuki for added uh, damage. He's gonna get the uh, heart knockdown with the positive bonus. Cal goes for the 6k. Ah, and the clone is real. Here we go, and he just... Go straight through everything using the clone. Very nicely done by Cal. Brings it back. Let's see if Caffeine is going to be able to bring it back himself. And here we go with the Beyblade from Cal. Tries to get the jump in. Finally gets something on here. And Cal in the corner again goes for a repetitive 6H. Gets scooped by the 2D though. And here we go with the blood explosion, man. But the corner positioning is definitely in favor of Cal. What is going to happen? Ah, and here we go with the command grab. It's not over, though. Like, oh, no. And the grab from Caffeine takes this opportunity to side switch. Ah, forces Cal to pop the wire. See, but reads it and goes for the back dash again with the grab for the side switch. And the wire. See, this time around from Caffeine. And Cal going for the fully charged dust. And gets the kill. That was sick, good stuff from Cal. That uh, takes it two to zero. Uh, I'll be right with you guys. I'm gonna update the. Uh, uh, I'll update the, uh, the, the the scoreboard in a couple of seconds. I'm just gonna ask you guys to wait a couple of seconds because I have some technical issues. One second, please. And here we go with the blood explosion again from Cal, man. Good lord. Ah, and you're, oh, and the clash, and Cal gets the pickup, man. That was sick. Okay, and here we go. Cal is actually 2 to 3. He is on set point right now. And the big round start with the 2D counter hit, man. You hate to see it. Ooh. Again with the 2D counter hit. That was huge. What the hell? Okay, hopefully my audio does not have a problem. Okay. And here we go with Caffeine trying to keep uh, distance from Cal. 
sound good to me? That's good to hear, Big Dominance. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I usually uh, can monitor my sound, but for some reason, my Bluetooth... Uh, my Bluetooth uh, earphones are not working right now for some reason. It's kind of annoying. I'd like to have like, my own confirmation that it's working correctly, but yeah. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. Oh, it's fine still. And Cal again with the blood explosion. Man, this dude has been like... Blood exploding from start to finish, man. That is crazy. This guy is not scared at all. Let's see if this works now. Come on. Come on, Bluetooth. Work. Mm. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we're good. Okay. And here we go with the grabs from tapping, trying to keep the corner positioning, trying so hard and so desperately to get this first win so that he doesn't get sent in the loser's bracket and finally gets it, by the way. Good stuff from Caffeine, not out of it yet. Takes, finally puts one on the board. So we have one to two. Let's see how this spins out. And start of the fourth round. Well, the fourth match, actually. We go with Cal in the corner positioning, goes for the command grab. Oh, and very nice read right there from Caffeine. Punishes the recovery of the Beyblade with the grab and gets the side switch as well. But oh no, Cal getting that burst, man. Go for the juggle in the corner carry. He's gonna get the wall break. Big wall break right there from Cal. Oh lord, what was that BRC? That was so strange. And unfortunately for Caffeine, he gets command grabbed. So let's see how this spins out. And start of potentially that point for Cal. Or he is being uh, zoned right there, but gets the 2HS counter hit. Fails to get the juggle, unfortunately for him. Still looking, okay. he has the corner positioning. Probably wants to keep it as much as possible, but cannot overextend because he has a lot of... Oh yeah, blood bar this time around. Cal with the command grab. Good lord. Oh, the pressure is real. And it's not over. Here we go. The oh, the tension extension. And Cal is actually going to take it over. Cal Fane. Holy freaking lord. He with by himself, so it's definitely not a problem. He doesn't participate to mine regularly, but I'm really, really happy he does. And uh, I would like to thank him also for uh, organizing the team uh, battle tournament that uh, happened in, uh, like literally last week on Wednesday and uh, on uh, Thursday, actually. But here we go with the start of the round and Xira already forcing Kuni to pop the burst. That being said, we go with Kuni trying to get that Kabari, man. That Kabari action going. And Xeri with the conversion station. Almost got the juggle up until the end. Here we go with Arisugawa san. Unfortunately, got scooped by uh, Biken here. Here we go with Kuni with the close, uh, with the 6 HS counter hit. Nice jump over the Arisugawa san bowl. Here we go with Kuni. Oh, and look. Here we go with the conversion station. It's not going to kill. No, because guts. But very nice combo right there from Kuni. Gonna get the wall break. And Kuni, man, just controlling that air. Doesn't want Xiri to jump on him. And gets the air to air with the jumping. Is very nice first round from uh, Kuni Lethal. Let's see how this spins out. And the 4H, man. That was sick. Xiri making for it. Well, making so he was going to cross up. But ends up in front. Gets the wall break. Here we go with the trade and uh, the Kabari whiffs, but it's okay. Goes for the follow-up. No entire and the golden burst from uh, Kuni definitely wants to apply the pressure right now. Goes for the 2HS. Okay, nice box from Xiri. Didn't get open. Oh, but the backdash got hit by the standing S, but it's still okay. Not over till it's over. Here we go with, oh lord, and the double 6HS, man, right after the counter hit. Here we go. Oh, and the sweep from Xeri should be able to seal the deal. Yes, he does. Good stuff from Xeri. And one round apiece. Who is going to take the first match? We shall see. Definitely works for the mental. And the uh, very nice Yagi right there. Unfortunately, probably did a uh, execution error. He probably wanted to jump in front, but it's still okay. Kuni does have the corner pressure. No, oh, Lord, but he's getting told to get key left and right. Xeri with the conversion gets the wall, uh, the corner carry. Ooh, almost got scooped by the 2HS. It's still okay, here we go back to neutral. Xeri trying to find the opening with a D jump in. Almost got kabari Oh, air to air right there. And oh, Kuni does not. Oh, very nice shake right there. The six. He 
Entire and Kuni. Oh, almost gonna get it, but not enough because guts. But it's still okay. He's one hit away from the kill. Yeah, you can see Kuni trying to control that air, that air, that airspace to stop one because he needs to jump on him. And here we go, finally. Ah, Kuni going for the kill. And the Xeri Force pop the burst, afraid from getting used on Sen and gets it again by the jumping head. Good stuff from Kuni Lethal gets the first mat very convincingly. That airspace, man. This airspace belongs to me. <laughs> you shall not jump on me. Now, nah, good stuff from Kuni, not going to lie. Okay, that being said, here we go with the second match and Kuni already with the corner pressure. Okay, we're good. Sorry. And, uh, yes. Ooh, that stare down, man. That freaking stare down. Oh, and Ku Yeah, Kuni Lethal. Oh, Lord. Kuni Lethal just committing uh, with the follow up of the Kabari again. Because he's showing that he's not punishing it. I don't know if the buttons of May are quick enough to punish it. I do believe she has like a six framer, so she should be able to do it. I'm not quite sure though. But it's still okay, we're going Xeri getting the tick pressure, gets hit by the forest though. Again, man, with Kuni with the freaking follow-up of the Kabari showing, well, actually testing Xeri. Uh, testing whether or not Xeri knows the adequate punish for it. But uh, yeah, Kuni not giving enough time for Xeri to try to adapt and uh, sealing the deal for the first round of the second match. Start of the round, here we go, Tatami Gaishi. Oh, Kuni trying to get that Escobar, he finally gets it. Oh, Lord, and that counter it with the jumping ass, man, you hate to see it. Here we go, the fake, the empty grab. Oh, Ziri forced to pop the golden burst, and wow, man. The battle of the Roman cancel right there. Kuni Leto didn't want to get entire right there and used adequately the, his tension more in order to uh, make the uh, air to air attack from Zeri with and punish him accordingly. Here we go with the cross up. It's gonna be big from Zeri. Oh, Chev went for, for the fake Arisugawa and went for the grab in order not to get Hiragi. Here we go. Oh, what is going to be the mix? And Lord Zeri, man, going crazy. Goes for the overhead once to seal the deal so bad, but gets hit by the far S counter hit. It's not over yet. And here we go with the fake. The empty grab yet again. This has been working so good for Kuni Lethal. Gets uh, the second match as well. Xeri on his last legs. Has to make something happen if he wants to see in the winner's bracket of this tournament. Let's see how this spins out. And finally, Xeri getting something going on, but not enough. Well, actually enough, but... Uh, well, at least he got the uh, burst of... Tunilethal, which is the... Uh, which was his main purpose. Okay, back to neutral. With the Totsugeki. Ah, uh, you can see Xeri trying to freaking fish for that knockdown, man. Like, here we go with the Kabari. Xeri has... Oh, Xeri got open. Force pop the burst. Corner pressure for him. Oh, tries to go for the shimmy, but Kuni not biting. Go with the aerial. The horse, the vertical. Uh, oh, Lord, on the wake up overdrive, man. Kaboom, boom. Get out of here with your dolphin. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Here we go to 2HS from... Oh, Kuni gets the juggle. Almost gets it. Oh, but oh, he gets the juggle off of the freaking Tatami Gaishi, man. Kuni, the freaking god. Here we go with the 6HS. Almost got the kill yet again. Kuni going ham. Goes for the low. Oh, he tries to, he tries to fish with the jumping ass, man. Oh, and here we go to Tsukiki. One more for the kill. Kuni is in ship territory. He needs to be careful. And he gets grabbed. This time around, here he takes it. Nice stuff. Thank you very much, Samakos, for the follow, and welcome to the Brojos. And the big bar HS, man. Is it the HS? I think it is. Oh, and the Hiragi. Here we go. Hiragi time. And here we go with the close pressure using the... Oh, the Kabari. That means that Kuni Lito is forced to pop the burst. Gets the juggle off of the cross of on Sen. Here we go with the Tatami Gaishi. Tatami Gaishi wanting Ziri to just jump, uh, to just run straight into it. Ziri getting the... Oh, the corner pressure again drops it. It's okay, here we go to Kabari. Uh, Ziri just blocking. Accepts the reset. Ah, uh, nice Abari from Ziri. Oh, and the wake up over there. I hope you didn't dash. She didn't. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine for both. Yeah, because Kuni did have an additional bar. Oh, Lord, here we go to Yosef. And then he gets opened by the 2HS. You hate to see it. 
Oh lord, yeah, the aerial. Oh, the aerial, man. It's so hard to deal with it. And Kunion, set point. Is he gonna take it? We shall see. We're going to Totsugeki. Ah, Xiri gets the 6p. Wants to get the corner pressure, but man. Kuni level is so freaking hard to keep and pinpoint in one freaking place. Here we go, Totsugeki again. Oh, nice 6p by Kuni. Should be able to get a juggle. Gets the corner positioning. Goes for the safe setup, but gets grabbed by Xiri. Went a little bit too deep. Here we go, the jump in. Ah, Xiri. Yeah, letting Kuni level with a little bit of space to breathe, but already all. And he gets the freaking burst. This should be enough to seal the deal. And Xiri stays alive. Finally puts one on the board. It's two to one still in favor of Kuni Lethal. Let's see how this turns out. Die, Shori. <laughs> okay, let's see if Xiri can make a comeback. We shall see. Nice sweep from Xiri. Trying to get the corner pressure. And here we go with the quick uh, Totsugeki and... Kunia Lethal finding the open, uh, the, uh, the opening, but unfortunately miss inputs his Yozan Sen. Again with the Yozan Sen, this time around Xiri ready, blocks it adequately. Ah, uh, the stare down, man. It's been going so bad. Very nice whip on it on uh, the uh, standing S, the far S, using the Totsugeki. Here we go with the trade, probably in favor of Xiri, at least he managed to push Kuni ever so slightly in the corner, goes for the overhead. Could he not popping the burst? Is he? No, he's not gonna pop the hero burst. And rightfully so. Could he deciding to keep his bar, his burst for the next battle, for the next round? Let's see how this turns out. We we'll go with the Totsugeki. It's my turn, Sizzgzeri. Just for the cross of the fake, the empty low, actually. The cross up empty low. Ah, no juggle right here. And the wake up overdrive once again by Kuni, man. This man knows no fear. Uh, against the wall break too, holy freaking lord, that was a, a very nice, uh, a very nice guess from Kuni, gets the grab, goes for the fake cross up. Oh, but gets landed on with the, the, the standing gate. Okay, Kuni does not have any burst anymore, it should be enough to kill if... Oh lord, is he gonna get it? And he's not, not enough to kill you, to see it? Oh lord, the air two are in favor of Kuni, doesn't get the kill. Oh no, gets hit by the freaking 6H. Ah, uh, can he actually manage to do it? Lord, that was a sick combo! He's gonna get the freaking kill with that sick RC combo off of the overhead of slip, uh, the overhead of kiss. Good stuff from Xiri, bringing it back 2-2, two two, man. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who's gonna take it. Oh, very big news on second round, and that was an unfortunate burst by Xiri. Fortunately for him, uh, Kuni wasn't quite ready for uh, this combo, couldn't quite get the optimization station. We go with the Tatami Gai shit. No, ooh, that sweep to go underneath the jumping as that was sick. He gets the juggle. Not enough to get the follow up though, but still okay. He's got the Totsukiki in the corner. No entire. Here we go with the jump in. Xiri bringing it back, man. Taking the lead. One round. Just needs one more to win this set. What is Kuni gonna do? The damage, man. She needs it. She needs it. <laughs> Says no one ever. Well, except me, player. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not gonna be biased. Here we go with Xeri, man. Trying to go for the air to air. Very nice XP. Goes for the close S. And the corner carry. Lord, no, no entire. And here we go with the 2S with the Kabari and Kuni in the corner, man. He wants this, he wants this so bad. And boom! With the aerial overdrive. That being said, Xeri did commit to block. And here we go with the jump and counter it. Gonna get the wall break. Good lord. Here we go, the Kabari with the follow-up. Tried to catch that backdash. And the big 2 just countered. This is gonna be death right there. We are going down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. Final round of the final match of the set. Who is going to take it and send the other one in, the losers? We shall see the big HS counter hit. This is gonna do a lot of damage. And do know that Biken does have a lot of guts. Okay, anyways, oh, we go with the Kabari, no jump in, oh, and here we go with Xerian, the sweep, he should be able to seal it, and he does, that went down to the wire, 3 to 1, 4, match, R versus Eto, ooh, Eto, I'm sorry, with your flag, net. let me change it real quick, because Eto is a from Japan, here we go. 
So, RF from Japan and Eto from Japan as well. He's definitely up there, yeah. No questions asked as well. He's been uh, making consistent, like, uh, top threes in uh, the Brojo Cup. And even, like, he did very good at during the um, uh, Evo Japan and other big majors, you know, in Japan overall. So, very strong top player. So, Eto, definitely no slouch. Uh, if, but if I might say his tournament uh, results were somewhat, well, less... Uh, yeah, jaw dropping than RF, but then again, you know, RF is like, RF is definitely, you know, like the exception, you know, he's not, not like your normal <laughs> Faust player. But that being said, we always see a lot of upsets during the uh, Brojo Cup, so maybe we shall see one right now. We just saw one, like, just right, literally, just right before <laughs> Kunilato versus Zeri, like, uh, Zeri managing to actually defeat Kunilato. This is quite a feat, if you ask me. So let's see if Eto can actually manage to do the same. And so far, so good. As you can see, Eto actually has the life lead, also has the burst, and also the uh, the tension bar uh, advantage. Yeah, I get hit by the overhead though, but it's still okay. Oh no! And here we go with the command grab, man. Or if calculating exactly what time the weight would fall on Eto. <gasps> Ooh, that was so close. Eto was so close to just die right there. Now we go with the O, oh, the L Roman cancel, and. Oh no, Eto trying to go snap these to, to snap these tubes all this man. That was unfortunate for him. He had it all almost, but yeah, alright man, just not staying in one place. Not afraid to just move right after a Roman cancel. Here we go with the forest. And RF going for the knockdown. Ooh Lord! Eto finally finding the opening. Oh Lord! Goes for the lateral freaking uh, Alpha Blade right after jumping. That was really really sick. Yeah, the reaction of this man. Yo, Zom, how are you doing? Good evening. Okay, here we go with the jump in by RF. Get the opening with the quick dust. Should be able to get that wall break that he wants. Yes, he does. Here we go with the wall break. RF backing off a little bit. Ah, ooh, goes for the dive and gets a trade in its favor and manages to take the first match. Quite convincingly, a little shaky start with the first round, but still managed to get the... Uh, still managed to get the... Uh, the, the the comeback, so it's still fine for him. Oh, but Eto with the freaking counter it on the on the sukiyaki managed to uh, force RF to pop the burst, and here we go with the grab from RF, the reactionary grab. Very nicely done by him. Oh, young man reaction just right there. But even if Eto did wake up with the DP, RF did have the meteor to cover um, to cover the reversal. Oh, very nice cross up from Eto goes for the overhead. Should be able to get the juggle, gets the wall break at least. Did not enough to kill. Oh lord, oh lord, and that 6p was sick and he gets to follow with the Sukiyaki for the kill. Ito not out of it yet. Good stuff, man. Just need one more round in order to uh, get a tie. Goes for the safe jump, goes for the grab. RF man in dire straits. Oh lord, in the air to air. Almost got the juggle, but it's still okay, not over. Here we go with the tick pressure, it goes for the overhead, and RF with the freaking blocks, man, that was sick. I never managed to block this overhead, never ever. I, like, I'm partially, like, thinking that it's impossible to block it on reaction, you have to have a read or something. But anyways, RF with the mix, 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 gets uh, the trumpet, but gets grabbed. Oh, Lord, that was, what the hell was that? That was sick. <laughs> the bomb hitting Edo during his uh, animation of his overdrive animation, you hate to see it. I suppose that Edo should have went for the his second overdrive. I guess maybe it would have uh, uh, like uh, gave him more uh, invisibility frame to finish the animation. But it's still, still, it's still the bomb managed to hit RF as well, and therefore like uh, help him help Edo like seal the deal and kill his opponent. That was sick though. That was so funny. <laughs> Good stuff from Edo. Still in it. Very nicely done. Just checking the brackets real quick, guys. I don't want to have anybody like uh, being stuck because I haven't been checking the bracket. I think everything is going fine. Yeah, it's going fine. It's going fine. Wow, Roy's already in the losers. This is very surprising. Uh, oh, yeah, I needed to check real quick. Uh, Roy's name. Ibushi. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Perfect. Anyways, there we go with uh, the... Oh, Lord. And RF actually uh, taking the lead. There is one match. Uh, one match apiece. But uh, right now, RF is up one round. Needs just one more energy to get the match. Imagine if that golf swing was faster, it could have been scalpel into afro, into swing, into bomb explosion, into afro explosion. Yeah, that was, you would need a little bit of, um, of um, RNG, I suppose. But uh, yeah, that, that would be actually pretty sick. That being said, here we go with the checks from... Uh, it's, oh lord, and that dash up just 
block instant block was sick and ito going for the overdrive not gonna kill because this overdrive is trash <laughs> it does have pretty nice corner carry though but yeah damage wise it definitely leads it leaves to be desired but yeah but anyways anyways we go with all right trying to keep out oh, to push it to ever so slightly in the corner Eto doesn't want to remain oh lord no and the Alpha Blade for the kill. Very nicely done by Ito. Not going down without a fight. We have one match and one round apiece. Perfect tie. Nice dodging the mini fouls. Yeah, that was sick. Uh, that was nice uh, decision making from Eto. Oh, very nice punish on uh, the uh, the dive right there from Eto. Almost got hit by the uh, far S. No. Okay, what's going to be... Oh, Lord, he tries to go for the jump in. But yeah, the bomb, the bomb hit from uh, RF actually prevented him from doing so. And it's all oh, blocking, man. Blocking but not punishing. That makes, makes, makes. You don't want to let Arv get away with these types of stuff, man. Oh, very nice. Oh, challenge right here. Again, man, with the head bomb and the jump in from it. Oh, should be able to get the overdrive. Oh, Totoy, come out! <laughs> Rigo with the knockdown and Eto forcing RF to pop the wire C. Uh, RF does have the trumpet, but Eto goes for the challenge and does it rightfully so. But you can see RF man abusing that dive kick, being so pesky. Oh lord, almost got hit by the- Oh no, you hate this shit! Is that gonna be enough? No! Not like this! Not like this, sir! Uh. And gets hit by the jump, the, the, the dive kick. Unfortunately for Eto, he's so close, but so far. So close, but so far, but it's still okay. Eto still has one more chance to try to make a comeback. We shall see if he will be able to do so. Tries to catch the back dash, goes for the challenge. Oh, and forces Arv to pop the burst. Okay, Eto going for the save drum, goes for the empty grab, actually. Good stuff, and ah, tries to bait a, a, a tech from the grab. Very nice for us. Should be. Oh no, goes for the command grab, but RF reading it, man, and goes straight for the dive kick. That was sick. Oh, Lord. Okay, again, man. Oh, and the jump it. Aeto getting the counter hit with the, with the sweep. Not enough to kill. Okay, is Aeto gonna be able to seal it this time around? RF is just so hard to open up once. Oh, very nice uh, challenge right there from, uh, from Aeto. Interrupts the start of the mix, mix, mix. Uh, low, just close enough to get the punish on the spear. Here we go, Ito goes for the overhead. Should be able to get the overdrive. Very nicely done. Oh, Totoy, come on! Come is yesterday. Uh, here we go, Ito, try being a little bit more. Oh no, gets hit by the closest kind of hit. RF is out of the corner. Has a little mini fouls too, yeah, to cover his approach. RF goes for the bat, but yeah, nice blocks from Ito, man. I'm sure Ito is like a young man. I don't know why. Well, I mean a young person. I'm pretty sure. He has his reaction or so on point. Ah, but gets hit by the 2S. The 2, the 2K. Ah, oh, Lord, and here we go with the command grab. RF not out of it yet, does have a burst. No, goes for the save jump and baits the DP. RF on a match point. What is Eto gonna do? Can he bring it back? Ooh, nice just block instant blocks. Here we go with the blocks from Eto. Still has some problems getting in, man. Uh, you can see, man, tries to find the opening, but oh, man, that air tier from RF. Uh, oh, very nice XP. Gets the Sukiyaki, but not enough to be on RF. Uh, was lucky. Oh, no, gets hit by the spear. This is gonna do a lot of damage. And RF going for the conversion station. Look at the damage! Look at the damage! Was enough to kill? That was sick! And RF taking it. Tsuzura versus Hayera. Let's see how this pans out. So Tsuzura did manage to win a Brojo Cup previously. I don't think it's the case for Hagiara, but Hagiara did manage to make several top eights. Even top three, I think, one time. So no, very both very strong. As you can uh, ju uh, judge from their uh, their aura, by the way. Hagiara rocking that red aura, whereas Tsuzura is rocking the yellow one. Being said, Tsuzura gets scooped by the 2 k Already in the corner, Hagiara trying to open his opponent up. And the freaking pressure is real. Valentine on Valentine violence, all we like. All you can eat. Anyways, here we go with Hagiara in the corner pressure. Look at the damage, man. Half of Tsuzura's life just went through the door, thanks to Jeff. 
chip damage, man. But anyways, it's fine. Here we go, hide Yara in the confirm. Gets the juggle using the um the um, the minions and going to get the wall break. Decides not to go for the uh, Elysium Driver though, but it's still okay. He does have a pretty hefty lead and goes for the cross up. And unfortunately, Tsuzura saved by the bell. Gets the burst back, but didn't manage to uh yeah, well make a comeback obviously because he was down on health. Just used his burst, didn't have any uh, tension, so obviously it was a pretty uphill battle for him. But still, there is plenty of other rounds to go, so plenty of other opportunities to make a comeback. Very nice instant blocks right there from Hagara. I guess the jump in. Oh, almost got the jump in. Okay, back to the. Ah, uh, back to neutral, and Hagara finding the opening. Oh, Lord. He tries to go for the far K. And Hagyara with the OTG damage, but Tsuzura man says, stop pressuring me. I hate you. <laughs> Finally, Tsuzura forcing Hagyara to pop the burst. A very nice with punish. Not enough to kill, unfortunately, and does not have the bar for extension, but still gets the corner pressure into the kill. We saw from Tsuzura not out of this yet. Start of the second match. And Hagyara with the juggle should be able to... Nope, no wall break. But still okay, he's got the corner pressure. He probably doesn't even want the wall break now that I think about it. But Naz nice back dash right there from Suzuki. I even gets the grab for the side switch. Goes immediately for the overhead, the overdrive. Okay, Hagiara does have two bars, almost two bars. Hagiara with two bars, and Suzuki though reading the jump outs from Hagiara. Hagiara is out of the corner. Oh no, still gets hit by the 6 p even though he went for a BRC uh, cross-up. Not far enough. And Hagara, man, with the take pressure, and again with the wake-up overdrive from Tsuzura. Well, the, uh, the the overdrive inside of the block string from Tsuzura finally manages to take it. Takes one round, we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. 1-1, one one, Tsuzura versus Hagara. I got very dominant the, during the first match, but yeah, Tsuzura just adapting ever so slightly. And ever so nicely, if I might say. I got forced to pop the burst though. I'm sorry for that. Uh, okay, and here we go with the corner pressure from Hagiara. Oh, gets the counter hit. Oh, Tsuzura with the back dash, man. Goes for the side switch using the RC. Probably wants that uh, positive bonus. That being said, Hagiara does have two bar of tension, man. Plenty of options for him. Goes for the uh, standing H to catch the back dash. And here we go, the corner pressure once again. Wow, man, the overdrive, man, inside of the block string. Susan, I'm not afraid. Thing you're going to have to guess sometimes that I'm going to do overdrive when you're pressuring me, man. And that stays inside of your mental, man. It does, it does. This is a very nice um, warning from Tsuzai, if I might say. That being said, this round was entirely in Hagira's favor. Not enough to kill, though, so definitely Tsuzara still capable of doing a comeback, but gets hit by the standing S counter hit. Hagira taking it with the perfect, nevertheless. Here we go. Start of the, the third map. The, what am I saying? The final round of this uh, third match. Oh, and Hagiara, man, with the fake cross-up. Goes for the grab in the corner. Goes for the ODG damage. And again gets hit by the overdrive, man. <laughs> this is three on three, man, for Tsuzura. He's been on point. Even finds the opening, man. Three for three, man, yeah. He hasn't let up a single time. And goes for the grab for the kill. Tsuzura on point, man. Manages to take the lead two to one. Not over till it's over, though. Here we go on for the fourth match this time around. Oh, and the big wave punish from Tsuzura yet again, forcing Agiara to pop the burst. Goes for the upper, sh the the upper, what's it called, the upper sword. No entire from Tsuzura, goes straight for the overdrive yet again. Wow, the checks, man. The checks and the conversion station from Tsuzura, man. Woo! That call out, though, from Agiara. Oh, man, and punish on the uh, overhead attempt right there from Tsuzura. Oh, unfortunately from Hagiara, I'm pretty sure he didn't want 
to go for the uh, single wall break. He wanted to use some bar. Answers it up with the recognition using the RC to extend and get the kill. The last round where Hagiara perfected him was the one where Tsuzura didn't build enough bar to overdrive Versa. Yeah, exactly. And trust me that if he did have enough, he would have definitely hit it as well. It would have been 4-4. Four four. That being said, Tsuzura, man, getting hit, counter hit. Uh, getting counter hit by the standing HS from Hagiara. Hagiara with the corner positioning yet again, finds the opening with the low. Goes for the soccer. Um, the soccer kick. Uh, again with the soccer kick and... This is enough to kill, are you serious? The last hit did so much damage, man. That being said, this is still set point for Tsuzura. Uh, we go with the Yakuma Fireball, but Hagiara gets yeah, hit on block, but fortunately for him, gets the grab side switch. Goes for the grab yet again. Oh, forcing Tsuzura to pop the burst. Tsuzura going for the Ram Slam, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Always punish right there on the forest, but it's okay, he gets the 6 feet thanks to the slowdown the Roman cancel. Oh lord, Tsuzura going in deep, man. But Hagara manages to punish him and also get some damage in with the draw. Should be able to seal the deal. And we are going down to the last match of this set, ladies and gentlemen. Good lord, doesn't feel like it's the first time either. Okay, and on to the final match of this set. Here we go. And... Oh, no! Tsuzura popping the burst! Mm. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure. Very nice circle right there from Hagela against the low. And the soccer punch! Okay, again with the corner pressure, man. And look at the chip damage, man! Your life is going away! Uh, Tsuzura trying to read the burst attempt, but Hagiara being very, very, very patient. Does not commit to anything. Okay, and we are back to the neutral. If there's such a thing existing between these two. <laughs> that being said, Tsuzura getting the corner pressure, looking pretty good, forcing Hagiara to pop the burst. Goes for the Ram Slam! Corner pressure time! Wow, goes for the consecutive overhead, using the ID. And Tsuzura fishing, man, for limbs, fishing for some moves. And gets the knockdown into the kill combo. Tsuzura looking pretty good, has his burst. That being said, Hagiara is about to get it as well. And Tsuzura forcing the golden burst from... Uh, Hagiara forcing the golden burst. Hmm? Oh yeah, from Tsuzura. But Tsuzura still manages to keep the offense going on. And is currently in the life lead. Ah, uh, no! No, not like this! And he gets the kill, man, on an unfortunate burst from Hagiara. Who didn't really have any choice in the matter, by the way. Because uh, Tsuzura... Flourish match, indeed. <laughs> Gobo hunting Uma Nage. Yeah, yeah, he is, he is, man. He definitely is. But anyways, here we go. Let's see how this pans out. Nage versus Hoshino. Time for another big damage versus Glass Bones on Paper Skin matchup. Exactly. So Hoshino... Uh, so this matchup can be a little bit tricky for Gold Lewis because... Uh, well, Faust does have all of the necessary tools to keep him out. But once Gold Lewis gets in, that's where the pain comes. Look at this. One jump in and half of the life of Nage is already gone. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Well, Lewis wants Faust for his cryptide, uh, cryptid collection. This is probably the case. Oh, Lord! And Nage with the bomb freaking juggle. That was sick. I love it when it happens, man. Okay, Nage going in. Ah, tries to go in. Doesn't want to overextend. Does all but gets hit by the behemoth. The behemoth, I'm sorry. Ah, that being said, Hoshino with the pressure. Gets the knockdown. Should be able to get the kill. And does, thanks to the Roman cancel. Hoshino taking the first round, man. Very convincingly. On to the second, let's see if Nage can adapt, gets the knockdown, I could see a trumpet, and wow, Nage with the freaking awareness, goes straight for the grab, to have the invincibility frames to live through the cavalry that was coming from the trumpet. That being said, here we go with, oh no, Nage get, oh no, both getting hit by the ball, <laughs> that's so unfortunate, that being said, Nage with the command grab, gonna get a V-Wig for Hoshino. Very nice overhead right there from Nage. Hoshino 
Still, well, yeah, very confident he was able to take it, so he burst it. But unfortunately, was that the correct answer? Ah, very nice knowledge of Nage Man just backdashing right when the wave was about to, uh, well, to fall through, to fall on the stage. And he said, Hoshino not out of this yet. Wow, oh, Lord. The behemoth swing, man. Hoshino definitely, well, fishing for something. And Nage not overextending, does not want to overextend, gets the spear. Unfortunately, gets hit by his own bomb. Oh. And here we go with the jump in from Nage. Gonna get the wall break. Almost. Oh, goes for the command grab. They should be able to kill. Oh, no, for the normal grab. And goes for the overhead for the kill. Good stuff from Nage. Takes the first match. By the skin, the skin of his teeth, though. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be right back. Just gonna go grab a uh, glass of water. What is this sixth song, by the way? Oh no, and unfortunately, Pramnage gets hit by Hoshino by a, because of a missed time mix, mix, mix. Not enough to kill, but still, yes, the mix, mix, mix was enough this time around. Good stuff from Nage, gets the first round. Oh lord, and the reads from Hoshino goes straight for round start 6B. Blows away the forest from, uh, from Nage. Dirty and beauty from Kirby Triple Deluxe. How can such a remix be so violent even though it's a Kirby game <laughs> and when I say violent I'm actually complimenting it by the way <laughs> good lord G G G metal this dude the dude who makes the remix is a god he's a guitar god not only but he also plays the bass and the drums and the synth sy 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 synthetic I don't know how you say it the, the electric piano I guess he plays so many different instruments and he makes the best Freaking um, covers of video games is crazy. Synthesizer. Synth synthesizer. Synthesizer. Good lord. <laughs> it's so hard to say. <laughs> we say synthesizer in French, so it kind of looks like it, but the, the, the S right after the TH is so hard to, to say without like twisting your tongue. Synthesizer. Synthesizer. Okay, synthesizer. Got it. But anyways, back to the match. <laughs> and here we go with the far S counter hit from Nage, trying to get out of the corner. Thank you very much, Miss Luke. Oh no, that was an unfortunate YRC right there from Oshino getting rid of one of his tension bars. That being said, Nage committing committing suicide with his own uh, his own what's called uh, his own bomb was able was wasn't able to uh, fetch back the momentum. That being said, look at the freaking look at the freaking mix-ups from Nage and gets the kill with the OTG glow. Says very nicely done by Nage. It's another one on the board. Okay, what is Hoshino gonna do? Is he gonna be able to bring it back? Hoshino sticking to his guns. Confident that he can bring bring it back, possibly. Unfortunately, gets six speed right at the round start by Nage. Nage going for the close edge. No entire. Again, good luck for entire Ingi jumping you from a Oh, very nice jump in from Nage, man. And goes for the freaking command grab. It is time. To light the wig. The wig is on fire! Again with the wig! One was not enough, you need another one. The wig is on fire! We don't need no water! Let my burn! Burn your wig! And here we go with the. Oh my lord, and the wall break for the kill! Good stuff from Nagi, just one round away from taking this set. What is Hoshino gonna do? Good lord! Nage preventing Hoshino from even getting close. What are you gonna do? Very nice XP and the meteors are real. Yeah, Hoshino activating the little Faust. Oh, goes for the minigun. Gonna get hit by the bomb though. You hate to see it. It's okay, Nage man with the freaking... Oh, the free... Oh, Lord, I'm sending that bomb back. Nage, the multitasking is real. Forced to pop the burst though for an unfortunate uh, scarecrow. Oh, Lord. Good lord, look at the blocks. Uh, too far to get the sweep though. Gets the sweep this time around. Uh, goes for the jump. And, oh, he goes for the side switch. And Hoshino saying, get your ass over here. <laughs> Fortunately for Nage, getting a 
Mini Faust right at that timing was really fortunate for him. And here we go with the Kotes for the kill. And just like this, man, Nagi. That being said, on to the next battle. Sorry for the way, it's gonna be none other than Xiri versus Tsura. Let's see how this pans out. So Xiri, very, very strong uh, May player. Again, Tsura, very strong uh, Ram Assault player, as you can see. So let's see if they... Uh, ooh, Lord, and here we go with the Rock, man. The Rick comes like. And Tsuzura trying to find the opening, but Xiri not letting up, blocking everything, but forced this time around to pop the burst. <gasps> oh, Lord, the reaction overdrive from Tsuzura. This dude does not know fear. There we go, the air to air from Xiri. A little bit too far to get the, uh, the juggle. That being said, he forces it out to pop the burst. So that does have one bar of tension. He might go for... Oh, he goes again for the overdrive, and Tsuzura has no fear, man. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> As soon as he has like bars, it's straight up to the overdrive, man. This man knows no fear. But here we go with the jump in from Xiri. Trying to find the opening, gets the Totsugeki. Ah, uh, you jump. No anti right there, but still, Tsuzura with your bar, he finds the opening. Uh, goes for. Oh lord, the. Oh, the, the vertical jump. The vertical Mr. Dolphin. Oh lord, that 6P was godlike from Tsuzura. Goes for the side switch, actually gets it. By the skin of his teeth, by the way. Goes for the grab. Ah, Lord. Oh, and the Avari from Xiri yet again. Should be able to seal it. Yes, he does. Good stuff from Xiri. Almost, almost not it. But thanks to his Avari, was able to... Oh, Lord, that jumped back into the 2-3-6. Uh, the uh, this was pretty crazy from, uh, from Tsuzura right there. Uh, but, yeah, Xiri out of the corner. Uses Arisugawa-san uh, to get the freaking conversion. That being said, Xiri in the corner. Has to deal with ramp pressure. Here we go with the sword throw. Here he's still in the corner. Ooh, wow, almost got an by the Riga. But it's still okay. This time around, it's... The th no! No, sure You are not going to get me once again with that overdrive. <laughs> Finally, somebody <laughs> managing to punish the overdrive. Oh, because okay. I'm long and welcome to the Brojo's. Again, here we go with uh, the second match this time around. Xeri did manage to get the first one by punishing the overdrive Abare from Tsuzura. A uh, very nice counter hit from Tsuzura. Ooh, he may even manages to bait the the burst from uh, Xiri. This is going to do a lot of damage, by the way. Look at the damage. This overdrive is crazy, man. We go with the safe jump from Tsuzura and the Abare yet again by Xiri. Finding the opening should get the juggle. Tsuzura still holding on to his, uh, his burst. Doesn't want to let up. And Tsuzura is going to have two bars of pressure. Oh, Lord tries to go for the quick overdrive, the, the, the quick, um, dust. Well, I guess that freaking juggle off of the, uh, counter hit Rekka. Good stuff from Tsuzura, not out of it yet. On to the second round. That's Tsuzura trying to find the opening. Oh, goes for the forest. And finds the opening with the forest into the Rekka. Unfortunately, gets grabbed by Xeri. Xeri going for the take pressure, forcing Tsuzura to pop the golden bird. Tsuzura, man, going again for the overdrive. This time, but still had a second bar of, uh, of tension to make it safe. <gasps> Gets an unfortunate side switch. Probably didn't want it, by the way. That being said, oh, and the Abari from Xiri, man. Not afraid. Uh, oh, no. Xiri had the correct instant block, but couldn't get anything off of it. This is unfortunate. And this should be dead right there. This is definitely dead. Yeah, yeah. Calvados is coming. <laughs> Calvados is coming. Is this gonna kill though? Cause oh yeah, it is. Oh lord, it is. even May, man. Holy freaking lord! This stuff from Tsuzura puts one on the board. Not finished. Does not want to go to the losers bracket for obvious reasons. Okay, now on to the next battle. Good lord, you're going to juggle, Tsuzura, man. With oh the corner carry combo, jumps over Arisugawa-san. Doesn't get hit by it, but does get hit by Mr. Dolphin. Okay, nice 6P from Xiri, but nice block from Tsuzura. Very nice instant block right there from Xiri. Oh, even gets a bait on the burst and goes straight for the fully charged dust. Is this gonna... Not enough to kill! Best, best, best. <laughs> I see that Xiri has a lot of support. I'm happy because... Oh, no! Xiri got caught by the overdrive and this... No, he drops it! Don't drop it! And Tsuzura goes for the low for the kill. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice that Xiri has support. He's very strong, I'm not gonna lie. 
I'd like to see him play against Mei. That would be an interesting match, is it? Mei versus uh, against you. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, Xiri playing against you would be really, really fun. I'd like to see it. Anyways, here we go with the uh, corner pressure from Xiri. Go straight for the grab. Oh, and he goes for overhead a kiss, and no, no, Xiri, not like this. Don't drop. Don't choke. Oh, and that is a non for A little bit too far, though, to get the far K, the, to get the standing K. Very nice jump in right there from Zuri. Finds the kill. Let's see if this can continue. Oh, and that far H counter hit. This did a lot of damage. Okay, and here we go. The corner pressure from Suzura. Oh, Lord. Oh, and again, this is out with the Rekka counter hit. You can see that he's baiting for Xiri to try to, like, uh, pr press button during his Rekka, his Rekka, uh, Rekka pressure. And here we go with the drop it from Xiri. Goes for the quick cancel. Oh, no, Xiri, man. Unfortunately, gets air to air by... Uh, by Tsuzura and, and and basically drops on to the, 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 the laser of the Calvados from Tsuzura. That was unfortunate for him. But it's still not over till it's over. You can see Xiri. Oh lord! Forcing Tsuzura to pop the golden burst. Tsuzura finds the opening. Goes for the Reka again. Here we go with oh, the resets on the Reka. Goes low, but the blocks on Xiri are sick, man. I will get the opening. I smell, I smell a wake up overdrive. I smell overdrive. I smell overdrive. Oh no, overdrive! Yeah, you can see to, to that he wanted to do it. He wants to do it so bad, but gets it, man. Good stuff from Xiri, man. The adaptation station from 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 Xiri. Not going down without a fight. Very good to jump in. Xiri finds the opening. Woo! That did a lot of damage. I don't know where to are right there from to, from uh, oh but there again with the Abari! Look at the juggle! Look at the juggle! Ah uh, wait wait wait! Oh no! He just should go for overhead kiss, but no, he did a little bit too early. I hope he didn't pop the burst. No, he didn't. Okay, and here we go with Suzuna in the corner pressure. Well, with the wall break, that's it. Let's see how this spins out. Good lord! Oh the late jump in, man! And Oh, Tsuzura died with his burst! That was unfortunate, but there were probably no practical uh, timing to pop the burst right there from Tsuzura, so it, it's understandable. It's very hard to burst on Mei when she sends you, especially in the air, because she has so many routes where she cannot get uh, bursted on. So you basically waste your burst and you, you kill yourself by doing this, which is not uh, good, <laughs> obviously. But it's still okay, here we go with Xiri and the corner pressure against the jump encounter. This is gonna do a heck ton of damage. Look at the damage! Xiri taking a hefty life lead. Trying to make his way to the winner's final. Oh, and gets the kill with the quick Roman cancel off of the Totsugeki. Final, well, potential final round of this set. So that needs to make something happen. Oh, and Xiri with the bar again catches the back dashman with the standing key. Oh, very nice to bar from Tsuzura. Tries to go out of the corner, but Xiri not letting him. Oh, goes for the overhead kiss. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, no. Oh, so close. But it's gonna happen. Tsuzura needs to make something happen, man. He needs it. Oh, Lord. Oh, and gets hit by the forest, man. Good stuff from Xiri. Takes it. None other than Nage versus RF. The return match for RF, that being said, because... Oh, Nage did manage to take this, um, to take the match, uh, well, to win the match last time. So let's see if RF can take it this time around. We shall see. Very big sweep right there. Counter hit from Nage. Of course, to uh, hold that, uh, to hold the, the, the block button, though. That being said, Nage does have the quarter positioning, did have a cavalry, but gets hit by the sweep of RF. RF taking this opportunity to get out of the corner. Goes for a command grab. Goes for a safe jump. Forces Nage to pop the burst, and Nage using actually the uh, the head throw in order to get rid of his uh, his wig right after the use of the oh lord almost got the juggle off of the bomb that was sick. Okay, Nage man oh goes for the six feet. 
Oh, tries to go for the instant air, uh, the uh, the instant overhead. Oh, Lord still gets hit by the freaking dust from RF. Okay, RF gonna force Nage to. Ooh. Okay, let's see how this spins out. RF currently has a slight life lead, but it can definitely go either way. Ah, uh, weight is out. Ah, uh, the weight hitting Faust. Well, Faust hitting Nage out of the air. Ah, uh, RF trying to go for the low, expecting Nage to block high because of his weight. But still gets hit by the 6p into the mix 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 for the kill. Oh, okay, first round goes to RF. RF definitely looking pretty good, but Nage, man. Nage also looks pretty good. Okay, here we go with RF trying to go for the uh, dive kick. Ooh, gets hit by the freaking overhead. The spear overhead. Nage with the jump in. Gets the cavalry. But RF noticing this goes straight for the command grab. Oh, it goes for, yeah, for the command grab to, uh, to use the invincibility frames of the, the animation of the command grab to go through the cavalry. Oh lord, that being said, look at that wig head. This around Nage does have the cavalry. I'm um, kind of mistimed his uh, his needy though. And gets hit by the sweep into the spear. Here we go, RF again with the quick dust, man. Oh, too far. Oh! Nage using the blue RC gets scooped though out of it. Gets scooped out of the uh the fucking uh, how do you, uh, what's how it's called? The, the mix mix mix. Two Fouse are on the stage. I don't know which one belongs to who. But that being said, RF takes it. Takes the first match with uh, the uh, dive kick. Very nicely done by RF. Takes the lead. Is Nage going to be able to adapt or is he going to be sent to the loser's dragon? We shall see. And on to the next battle. Okay, here we go with the golf club. And RF wants that corner positioning. Catches Nage out of the air with his mix, mix, mix. Therefore, makes it so that it is plus a block. Oh, Lord, that 6p from not RF man was sick. Oh, Lord, you're going with the, oh, the freaking tech man from Nage. Oh. Okay, and RF out of the corner goes straight for the BRC man. Well, it goes straight for the Roman cancel right after his jab. Oh, and he's got the freaking dive kick for the corner combo into the kill. Oh, I've taken a pretty hefty lead, not going to lie. One match and one round apiece. Well, one match and one round uh, advantage right now. What is Nage going to do? We shall see. Look at the battle of the sweeps. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> So many sweeps I can with the sweep. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, okay, very nicely done by Nage. Noticing that Orf was going to go for the quick dust. Manages to block it and get out of a cavalry ring. Woo! Didn't quite get the juggle with the bomb, unfortunately, right there from Nage. And your bar again from RF gets out of the corner. Unfortunately, lands on Mini Faust, which is unfortunate. Okay, Nage again, man, with the freaking sweeps. Oh! Hits RF out of the air with the freaking overhead and goes straight for the overdrive. This is going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> Good stuff from Nage. Taking the life lead and goes for the freaking... Oh, that was sick. Sick freaking uh, a block from RF man. Young man reaction. Even though he's not that young, though. <laughs> but still, genius reaction. Here we go. Let's just say this. Okay, here we go with the sweep again from Nage trying to uh, deal that knockdown. Uh, yeah, nice blocks from RF. Not committing. Oh, tries to go out of the corner using mix, mix, mix. RF is out. Gonna get the knockdown. Mini Faust is out as well. And Nage straight for the freaking spear. Look at the damage. That This is actually pretty decent now. And Nage with the overhead. Ooh, gets the air to air counter. And this is going to do a lot of damage. Little Fuss is out, but RF is out as Oh, tries to go out, but gets but hit. Oh, no! The YRC made was real. And this should be able to kill. Yes, it will. Nage putting one on the board as well. Not getting out. Not going out without a fight. Good stuff. From Nage. Here we go. One match apiece. What is Arv gonna do? We shall see. Good lord. This matchup is so intense. Only these two can make it so intense, though, I feel. Damn. Okay, and on to the next battle. Here we go. The clash. Nage just resorting to use that kite. Just run up straight and grab. <laughs> Here we go with the weight and the banana. Alright, finding the opening with the dive. Oh, gets hit by 6 speedo. Tries to go for a cross-up. Mix, mix, mix. But yeah, man. RF was on point with the with the block. Not going to lie. That's what you get for... Yeah, that's probably... Uh, 
thanks to the fact that he plays a character that probably plays in that's probably uh to be mentioned anyways here we go with the two s the sweep are trying to get out of the corner we go with the spear RFO goes for the double jump to go over the cavalry, but yeah, Nage expecting him, just 6 being him out of it. Here we go the BRC combo, and Nage should be able to take it, and he does. Okay, we have one uh, round in favor of Nage, currently. So one match and one round in favor of Nage. Nage with the back dash. Goes straight for the grab and the side switch. Nage does have the 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 what's called the wig go. Ah, the wig going to explode. It does. Ah, nice. It, it was ah, that was funny though. Oh, here we go with the battle of the spear. Air to air in favor of Nage. Ah, uh, oh wow, the six P reaction station. Again with the six P man. Okay, here we go this time around the sweep counter hit for Nage. Oh, that was so sick. How do you block that? Here we go with the jump in from Nagi again with the 6P man preventing R from using his uh his signature dive. RF definitely a fan of this move. And on to the final round of this second match actually. Who's gonna win it? Oh it's a mix 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 battle! That mix 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 battle, my items are better than yours. Okay, RF did have a bunch of items that were pretty useful. Okay, Nagi, man. Ah, uh, Nagi trying to get that sweep. But RF just staying away, man. Staying out of range. Ah, uh, you could see RF. He wanted that freaking, uh... He wanted that freaking trumpet. Ah, uh, the double spear. Double spear is real. And RF, man. Still getting taken into the corner. Okay, this time around, RF... Oh, Lord, and that air grab. Are right, going straight for the quick dust combo. Again with the back dash in the corner from RF. The cojones on this man. Ah, big, 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 big dive kick counter hit for RF. Again with the dive kick. Pushes Nage on the banana peel. <laughs> Woo. Oh, didn't even see the bomb, but Nage with the freaking 6P counter hit. <gasps> and gets the kill. Steals it at the absolute end. Nage taking the lead. What is RF going to do? RF, 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 careful! The title, the title of Best Faust in Japan is currently at stake. What are you gonna do? Okay, we go with RF. Oh, and Nagi and the command grab. Smelling that RF was gonna respect his plus blocks here. Uh, his, um, his, uh, yeah, his, uh, the fact that he was plus. Anyways, here we go. Oh, and RF again, man, with the dive kick on it. It's been working very good for him. Okay, very nice ping pong battle in favor of Nage. With the bomb, and RF manages to get that spear. Wanted to get the juggle with the bomb, but unfortunately, the bomb hit him as well. Oh, okay, here we go, the spear. Oh, the 6P. Uh, Nage managed to get that command grab. It is weak time. But the Abari man from RF in the corner managed is to make him uh, get the momentum back. Goes for the head toss. <gasps> oh no, it doesn't get the block on the YRC. Well, he did get the block on the YRC, but no punish on it. This was so unfortunate. Getting okay, very good with the overhead. Ah, uh, and back to ping pong time. Oh, where does this bomb come from? Lord, that was sick. If Nage intended this, that, that is freaking sick. Anyways, Nage on set point. RF not out of this yet though. If uh, Naya takes it, he would have won twice in a row against uh, RF. So, yeah. Just saying. <laughs> and here we go with RF and the command grab. Goes for the jump in with the fire to light that wig up. Oh, and the blocks from my game and this dude. Ah, here we go with the overhead. RF going for the sweep though. Goes for the 6P. Again with the weight. Okay, here we go with the 2S. RF trying to find the way out of the corner. Finds it by hitting Nugget with a slap. Okay, RF not out of this yet. We are still at match point. RF absolutely need this one if he wants to stay alive. 
Here we go with the spear. Oh lord, no red for you, Nage! Ah, Arv does have the cavalry, unfortunately. Nage jumped away. Nage first popped the birds. Here we go, RF looking pretty good. Gets double! That was sick, the double cavalry for Nag for for uh for Arv. That was so sick. Yeah, that that is a thing actually now that I think about it. Because of course not only you but your opponent too can send the uh the cavalry if you're a Faust. And just like this man, Arf with the double cavalry brings it back. That was so sick. Double cavalry. I'm sure it's not like it's not such a a strange occurrence, but it's fun. It's my first time actually seeing it, so it was actually pretty hype for me. That was sick man, double cavalry. Okay, on to the final match, of course. I wouldn't have expected any less from Two of the best Faust players in the whole wild world. Currently sitting at a perfect high. Two matches apiece. Nage drawing first blood with the counter hit. So Nage trying to get the corner positioning and keep it. Goes for the overhead. Goes for the knife kick. And RF man with the grabs. You go to counter hit um, dive kick. RF finding the opening, goes for the mix mix mix, gets the juggle immediately into the order, right? Is this going to kill? I don't even know. And it is! Good lord! The damage on this man. Okay, RF match point. Is Nagi gonna be able to bring it back? Oof! Nagi with the big spear right there. Oh! Again with the first counter hit and the double cavalry! <laughs> Twice in a row, yo. That was sick. <laughs> that was so sick. Second time the RF takes it. No. <laughs> yeah, the RNG god is uh, probably in favor of RF. Oh, that freaking overhead though from Nage gets the uh, the juggle also off of it. Here we go RF with the dive kick into the mix mix mix. Is the meteor? Um, no wake up overdrive from Nage gets scooped by the mix mix mix. Okay, RF on the verge of taking it, but look at the resources of Nage, man. I think uh, Nage should be able to put one as well. Oh, and the quick freaking Roman cancel off of the scarecrow side switch. Good stuff. We are on the final round of the final match, ladies and gentlemen. This is crazy. Last round should be decided on the first item battle. <laughs> yeah, exactly, like a junk and pony, you know? That would be crazy. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. That being said, Nage taking the lead. Oh no, RF tried to go for the side switch. Mix, 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 but <gasps> gets it by the dive kick counter hit. Gets it by everything under the sun, too. Nage taking more. Oh no, Nage with the command grab. What is the mix? You're going to jump in. You have to hold it. And this is gonna do. Nage once again sending RF in the loser's bracket takes this Faust bout three clutch as hell man okay anyways I am going back uh, to get a glass of water we'll be right back Okay, and on to the next battle. Moogie looking pretty good. Oh, tried to beat that burst, but man, Usei Buri being very, very respectful. Oh, that being said, wakes up with the DP. And Usei Buri with uh, the... Oh, tries to get the Dragon Ball a little bit too far for it. Gets scooped by the freaking Beyblade and Usei Buri not committing to uh, popping the burst. Not doing a hero burst. It's still the first round. Uh, Moogie finding the opening with the far, uh, the, uh, the, the clone. Again with the clone to blow the yo-yo. Okay, here we go with Moogie finding the opening with the Fukyo. Wow. Oh, here we go with the closest counter hit. Oh, but fails to get the juggle. You hate to see it. That being said, you see Moogie finally finds the opening. Uh, goes for the lateral yo-yo uh, throw. 
Wow, that was pretty nice use of the uh, the Ninja Turtle jump that I like to call it. The, the brisket Ninja Turtle jump. And you went, oh lord, you're going Moogie, hitting uh, Usiburi with the fire chest. Usiburi out of the corner, goes for the, oh, 2S, the delay 2S also. Oh, and he goes for the command grab, that was sick. Good stuff from Usiburi. Puts one round on the board. The go go. Okay, and here we go with Usiburi. Trying to invite Mugi to pop. Nah, it's press button. Here we go with. Oh, Lord of the Cool says. Boom! Ah, very nice DP right there from Usiburi. Finds the opening. Oh, no! Doesn't catch the back dash, but it's still okay. Uses the Roman cancel to make it safe. Woo! Oh, Lord! Okay, Mugi. Wall broken. Oh, very nice checks right there from Mugi. Uh, oh, goes for the quick dust, but nice. Oh, nice freaking blocks from Usuburi. Usuburi, man, with just the four. Oh, he could have killed. And it's enough to kill. Good stuff from Usuburi. He knew. He knew. That's the reason why he didn't burst. Hey, he didn't uh, Roman cancel because he, uh, because um, Nagoriyuki had, actually, he had a, uh, he had burst. So if he had Roman cancel, uh, Mugui would have the ability to burst. Whereas if Usuburi just hit him on the ground, uh, you cannot you cannot burst right after a throw. So what he did is that just uh, use the grab and then immediately use the uh, the burning Roger in order to uh, because you cannot burst during uh, overdrive either. That was the best case scenario for Usuburi. The best uh, the the best how do you call it? the best uh, decision for Usuburi. I, I totally, I, 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 yeah, I, I tried to say, yeah, you could have Roman Castle, but no, no, that would have been the dumb choice. Good stuff from Musubiri with the use of the command grabs from so far away, man. This dude not afraid. Musubiri taking the lead, by the way. Ah, but gets scooped by the, uh, by the Colombo. Here we go with Musubiri trying to get out of the corner, gets hit by the standing K, the standing P. So here we go with the take pressure from again. This is not enough to seal the deal. Woo! And the blood explosion! Okay, what is Mugi gonna do? Yeah, trying to yeah, hit, hit his opponent. Ah, nice stuff, and a far... Oh, Lord! And he even gets the conversion station! Tries to get the juggle, unfortunately drops it. Here we go with Beyblade time. Oh, and the freaking front Pokemon. Oh, Lord! Here we go with Fire Roger. Still my turn. Ooh, and the grab from Mugi was sick! The cojones of this man. Good stuff from Mugi. Manages to put one on, uh, one round on the second. Oh, Lord. And the golden burst from Usuiburi. Okay, here we go. The double jump in. Okay, the yo-yo is in. Ah, uh, very nice checks right there from Usuiburi. Yeah, harassing Mugi, man. Harassing him so much. Oh, very nice stuff from uh, Usuiburi. Oh, good stuff. I should be able to get the juggle. Goes for the extension station. Probably wants to wall break. Gets it. Goes for the overdrive. The absolute cojones. So what is going to be the okay? Oh, no. He tries to go for the command grab. But Boogie went for the blue room and cancel. Okay, not over till it's over. Ah, nice stuff from Ugrisuburi. Damn. Ugrisuburi. Usuiburi, I'm sorry. Ugrisuburi. <laughs> That's not the same meaning. Anyways, on to potentially match point, by the way. Usuiburi with the round start. Uh, Command Girl, is sick. He has a very nice... Uh, calling out a jump with the spin dash. Yeah, man. The Beyblade, man. Uh, here we go. Oh, Lord. And Mugi, man, look at the damage. You are still gonna get wall broken. Ooh. Okay, very nice check right there from Mugi. Manages to put one round on the board. Still needs plenty more if he wants to say. Alive in the tournament. Anyways, here we go uh, again. And this has been the bane of Mugi. The yo-yo, man. It's probably the bane of multiple Mugis. Uh, of multiple Mugis. Of multiple Nagori Yugis. And you can see Mugi wanting to stay close so he can potentially command grab his opponent. Finally, Mugi forced above the burst. Very nice 6P. 
from Usiburi catches the actually bait the YRC. Yo, nice, how you doing, man? Long time no see, ça bien. Ça fait toujours plaisir de t'avoir, mec. Merci beaucoup pour le sub, ça fait extrêmement plaisir. Okay, and here we go with uh, the pressure from from Usiburi. Gets the kill. Just one second. Okay, here we go with ah, oh, sweet buddy with the juggles, man. Good and you. Sorry, I was having a hard time this last week with my illness. Don't look at it's it's okay. Nice, thank you. No suicide, no problem, man. Anyways, here we go with the sweet buddy again with the corner pressure. Moogie has a lot of problems trying to get out of it, by the way. But it's only understandable. This matchup is arguably not in favor of. Uh, of a, of a, yo man, and Usubiri tries to go for the command grab again. Gets a whiff punish. Like, oh no! And unfortunately for Moogie, this should be it. It's gonna seal the deal. Usubiri eliminates uh, Moogie, man. A clean battle. Oob it, oh my lord. Ibushin, Ibushigin Roy. So just call him Roy. Ibushigin is his. Uh, the, um, the, the, um, the, the gamer team that is sponsoring him currently, well, the, the gaming organization that is sponsoring him, against Bro, very strong Jackal player. Let's see who uh, manages to take it. We shall see. Nice grab from Bro. Ah, uh, goes for the fake cross up and gets it. Forces Roy to pop the burst. Very nice with punish on the Bandit Bringer. And you can see Bro, man, ever so slightly trying to push Roy in the corner. Very nice. Oh no! No, you yeah, just see it. That was a very sick. Uh, how do you call it? Uh, I've heard the name. Uh, very, uh, very sick guard point from Bro, but couldn't quite get anything off of it. Still gets the juggle though. It's a good forty grab, but Roy reading it jumps out of it and lands straight on Bro's nose. <laughs> no pun intended. Anyways, here we go with the juggle by Bro. Manages to get the first round pretty convincingly. We go with the Akuma Fireball and the Minion Throw. Oh, wake up a DP from Roy. Good stuff. Here we go with Akuma Fireball. Bro, trying to find the opening. Does find it. Forces Roy to pop the burst. And Roy with the take pressure in the corner. No entire on the jump out of Bro. Though. Ah, Bro with the cojones too, man. Tight in the lock stream. Just press far as of course. And here we go with Tyrant Ray from Roy. Gonna get the hard knockdown into the positive bonus. And he gets the opening with the double hit of the jumping. HS tried to read a uh, burst, but uh, Roy didn't actually um, pop it. Probably wanted to keep it for the third round. Ah, very nice 6S right there. Counter hit from Roy. Was about to get a conversion, but... Bro still had one more of burst in order to uh, tell him knock it off, get off of me. Just realized this is a battle of the couple. <laughs> that goes versus salt. And no entire yet again by Bro gets jumped in by the jumping HS man. And Roy not dropping that combo, fortunately for him. Gets the positive bonus and the wall break. Here we go. And the HS counter hit. Bro decides to keep his uh, bar, didn't want to commit to the overdrive. For understandable reason. Ah, man, and the empty freaking wild throw. Fortunately for Bro, Roy didn't have any extension, uh, intention bar in order to extend the, uh, the, 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 the combo. Ooh, and Bro baits the freaking... No, he could have done it, but he still got it. Bro with the bait on the burst. That was sick, man. Bro up one to nil. What is going to happen? We shall see. On to the second round. The second match, I'm sorry. Current leader is Bro. One to zero. Is Roy gonna be able to bring the momentum back? We shall see. Again with the forest punish this time. Good close S counter hit. Uh, good close S juggle. Straight into the Elysium driver. Not nearly enough to kill, not even enough to get the freaking wall break. Okay. Oh, nice. Stick pressure from Roy. And the 2k to low profile the, to low profile the, the bended revolver into the grab by a bro. Very nice reactions, man. Okay, and on to the next battle. Ah, 
Ah, bro, with the 2k2d, man, catching these bag dash. Oh, the S, the forest counter hit. Again, finds the opening with the 2d. Forest is Roy to pop the burst. Getting the soccer kick into the corner carry, unfortunately drops it. And Roy going for Volcanic Viper, man. And we're on the verge of taking it. Unfortunately, drops the combo. Ah, and Roy with the closest conversion. Drops the combo too. Is it high or low? It's just a grab. Oh, and the freaking trade. And nice swift punish from Roy with the forest. Finally puts one on the board. One match apiece. Let's see how this spins out. Nice shake from Bro. Gets the knockdown. Oh, actually, it's still in favor of Bro. Yeah. Okay, here we go with Roy and D6S. Oh, Lord. Bandit Bringer real. Nice grab from Bro. Goes for the fake cross up. Immediately into the Elysium Driver. He has the wall break this time around. Almost got two bars of tension, so a lot of leeway to do so. Ooh, almost got hit by the vol vol Vortex, man. Okay, and here we go with Bro in the grab. He has the kill. So this time around, 2-0, to zero, right? Yeah. Good stuff from Bro on the verge of taking it. Here we go with start of the round and bro trying to get as many minions as possible on screen. Gets the bait on the DP. Bro's really have been pristine, man. Holy freaking here. And here we go this time around. Bro first about the burst. Gets the closest counter hit. Right into the overdrive. And bro with the corner pressure. Oh, for the opening. Should get be able to steal it and does. Good stuff, bro. On a match point. What are you gonna do? Nice with fun it from Roy gets scooped though. And here we go with the bended bringer. Wow. That bro trying to control this air. Control the other ground as well. And Roy, Roy content to just press 4S, man, sometimes in the block screens of Pro. It's so, it's so, it's so surprising, man. Ah, nice chase on the back, that. Ah, here we go with Bandit Revolver, goes for the empty low. Ah, Bro tries so desperately to get out of the corner, but Roy will not permit it, man. They should be dead. Yeah, I will. Nice stuff by, uh, by Roy on the bridge of putting one on the board. By Roy. Goes for the jump in. Oh lord, and the just defend, man. Oh, and Roy on the verge of. Yes, finally puts one on the board. Tyron, eat on it! Good stuff from Roy. Finally puts one on the board. So, what is Bro gonna do? What is Bro gonna do? We shall see. Now, Jerry, go on to the next battle. Bro trying to get that freaking ground. Ground control using the minions. Very nice bandit revolver. Unfortunately, gets the side switch probably unwanted. Though. Good lord. And here we go with the juggle by Roy. Oh, and the volcanic viper. Roy with the really, really, really nice, uh, nice. Kill right there. Follow me. Okay, bro with your bar finally gets out of the corner. 
I was trying to go for the grab, but man, Roy reading it so quickly, man. That was sick. Woo! And the 6P using the slowdown of the BRC. Uh, gets the juggle using the uh, using the Dominion. <gasps> oh no, you hate to see it. Bro with the burst though. Fortunately for him, gets the side switch, but gets landing on. Nevertheless, very nice grab from Bro. Goes for the fake cross up. Should be able. No, doesn't get it. Oh, but still can. No, he gets the wall break even though he didn't want it. Ah, this should. Oh, yeah. Uh, Roy was on the verge of using the DP. <gasps> and gets the kill with the bandit bringer. Uh, Roy, bring it back, man. Two to two. We have a match, okay. ladies and gentlemen. Roy, no, not going down without a fight. Good lord. So let's see how this spins out. Is Bro going to be able to make a comeback? Uh, I can try if I know it. But then if I cannot answer it, then yeah, feel free to ask the chat. That is here for a reason, man. No problem. Okay, here we go, man. With the wall break. Good stuff by Bra. Is he going to take it? Oh, no. This is an unfortunate low profile. Oh, and the DP just let it rip. Very nice check right there from Bro. Could be able to get the kill and definitely will with the Illusion Driver. Good lord! Good stuff by Bro on a match point. A 6 frame move, that's minus 1 unblocked. The opponent has 7 frames to punish me now. No, he has 1 frame. He has 1 frame to punish him. So, let's say for example... Well, there's no such thing as a 1 frame move, but... You do have like some, uh, yeah, yeah. No move. Uh, well, it, you could try to like if you have a minus two, for example. So uh, which move is minus two on block? So if you instant block the, uh, uh, the for example for Eno for heavy for heavy stroke is minus one on block. But if you instant block it, you actually. Uh, you actually uh, recover one frame earlier, so that makes it minus two. And minus two is uh, is the, the the grab uh, the grab comes out in two frames. That means if you instant block the heavy stroke of uh, you know which set me free. Trust me, and we will escape from the city. Okie dokie, bread and cookie. RF versus Usuibori. It rhymes. It's perfect. It is perfect. Okay, let's see how this spins out. And oh, Lucy Booty with the cheeky command grabs. But man, the uh, one thing that is really, really, really um, surprising, not surprising, but uh, bewildering by RF is his reaction time. He's so quick at reacting at everything that you throw at him. Anyways, here we go. The juggle though from Lucy Booty. Gonna get the wall break. Hmm. See how this spins out. Okay, we see trying to go for that knockdown. Wants that knockdown so much. Oh no, and the spear catching the back dash though, unfortunately for Usibuti. Woo! We go with the quick scarecrow teleportation tech. Usibuti trying to punish that uh, that uh, item throw from RF. Oh uh, no! No punisher, oh but little, yeah. <laughs> for Usibuti was completely sandwiched between Faust and his little version. Let's see how this spins out. The RF trying to react as much as possible. Oh lord, tried to go for the Meteor, but Usui Booty not getting hit by it. Oh, very nice instant block, tried to punish it. Ah, but couldn't get the the trumpet. Very nice re read from RF. That Usui Booty was gonna jump out of pressure. Wow, how the hell do you block this? RF going ham. RF definitely wanting his run back against Nage. Oh, and here we go again with Roger trying to make it so that RF cannot entire him. Very nice. Air to air from Usubiri. Gonna get the grab. Oh, here we go. The RC. Usubiri using the burst to keep the corner positioning. I don't know if I agree with it. We shall see. It depends on the outcome of this, uh, this match. Uh, oh no, man! And that freaking that that overhead, man, from uh, from Arv. That was sick. Here we go. Somebody going for the sweets, trying to get some life back, and the reach from this freaking HS, man. Roger once again, and there we go with the forest from Arv gets the kill. Good stuff from Arv. Very, very, very uh, 
very dominant first match right here. Let's see if Usuburi can find his footing. Unfortunately, he gets it by the... Well, gets it on block by the 6 speed. But so Usuburi gets the air to air. Gonna get the juggle. Yes, he is. Forcing Arf to pop the burst. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Oh, Lord. And Usuburi, man, with the roller skates. With jump start my heart. Woof. As blocks from... Usuburi goes straight, man. Goes straight for the RC. And oh, the pressure was real though. Nice dive from Marv. Gets the counter hit. Usuburi throwing that yo yo away. Oh, again, man, with the meteor side switch. It's so cheeky. So hard to react to. Nice juggle from RF, man. That was sick. RF throwing his head away. There's no need for it. Okay, here we go with Usuburi. Uh, trying to get something starting. Not really easy, if you ask me. Okay, at least he has a little bit of a donut. Can sustain him for a little while. Ah, nowhere to where. Ah, and Arv going for the kill using the mix, mix, mix. Ah, oh no, and Rf with the die for the kill. Takes a pretty hefty lead, not going to lie. If he takes this one, it's going to be pretty hard for Rusi and Rudy to make a combat. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice freaking punish, man. Using the 2S to punish the recovery frames from uh, from the yo-yo toss. Oh, Lord! Come here! Good spear from Arya. Gonna throw a hex ton of, of items. Oh, unfortunately, Farad gets scooped by his own bomb. Again with the bomb. Ooh, and Roger, no! Oh, that was so close. That was so freaking close. Ah, uh, this time around, Uzumuri going straight for the overdrive. Up the kill, yes, finally, finally, Uzumuri staying alive by the skin of his teeth. See how this spins out. Here we go with the dive kick. Uzumuri, oh, with the two HS counter hit. Ah, uh, no, no, no. But still, okay, Uzumuri does get the cavalry. Let's go air to air, but yeah, Orif is just too quick to. Uh, to pop it, man. Oh, Lord. Usuburi, oh, no, 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 this is so unfortunate. Usuburi popping the burst because doesn't want to get hit by the golf club. But then, since there was a bomb behind him, gets hit by the bomb on the recovery frames of his, uh, of his burst. That was such an unfortunate burst. And anyways, uh, still not out of this yet, and this should do. Yeah, this is definitely gonna do. Arf is not dropping that combo. And RF taking a pretty nice lead, 2-0. Let's see if Usuburi can make the comeback. Good lord. Here we go with the jump in. Not jumping the dive counter hit from RF. Gets the Meteor yet again. How many Meteors can you get, man? Holy freaking lord. Ah, finally for spot the burst. Gotta get the weight. RF contends to give some space. Usuburi. Thank you very much for the follow, Lucky Snow, and welcome to the bro. And here we go with the knockdown from uh, from RF going straight for the overdrive, and RF just like this on set point. What is gonna happen? Oh lord, in the 2S counter hit, man. You hate to see it. Importantly for RF, he had the Meteors out. Again with the Spear. Not catching Usuburi this time. Here we go with the air to air. Usuburi trying to get something started, man. But RF's defense is just too good, man. I don't know what he's doing. Ah, and hits the bomb a little bit too late. Gets hit by the radius of the bomb. Oh, and the big 6 HS counter hit. You will do a lot of damage, actually, all things considered. Ah, I couldn't quite get the uh, the bar in time in order to uh, to use the overdrive. Oh, and Usuburi getting the juggle, man! That was a sick combo. Damn, good stuff for Usuburi. That was a sick combo. I didn't even know it was a thing. Okay, here we go. Oh, are freaking up with uh, the golden burst? 
definitely fleeing himself. <laughs> nice blocks from Musiburi, uh, but Little Faust is out to play. And yeah, that was a lot of damage, all things considered. The weight, Little Faust, it was so much stuff. Ah, and Orif catching the back dash for the closest. Nice back dash from Musiburi. He goes for the side switch. That is surprising. I didn't even know it was a thing. Oh no! But it's still okay. Actually, this is the best thing that could have happened. Musu oh, look at the conversion! Wow! And the jump in from Musiburi. The dude is not out, man. Far from it, that conversion at the end was sick. Musiburi putting one on the board. Doesn't want to go uh, down without a fight. Let's see how, let's see how this spins out. Ah, oh, good lord. And here we go with the corner pressure from... From RF, man. Okay, and here we go with the, the dive kick, man. And the big 2S counter hit, man. And I'm just like this, gonna get the corner juggle into the kill. Oh lord, and the trade in favor of RF keeping the corner positioning goes completely ham. Look at the freaking offense of this dude. Not letting up, probably found his style against uh, against Usui Buri. Nice 6p from our this man multitasking. <laughs> Completely multitasking. Goes for the quick cancel. The quick Roman cancel. Yeah. Goes for the check. Uh and the clash. This is an unfortunate clash for Usugi. Uh tries to jumpstart my heart, but yeah, no RF defense is just too solid. Preventing everything in the book, man. Ah, uh, that's being said. Oh nice DP from Usuburi. Uh tries to go for a grab, but. RF was smelling it out and okay next matchup after this one. Arigato gozaimashita, mami <laughs> Okay, and here we go on to the next battle. Uh, yeah, we're good. So this is the last match of the before the semifinals of the losers bracket. So after this matchup, we'll move on to the winners final, which is gonna be Xiri versus Nage. After which is going to be the loser semi-final, which is going to be, well, the winner of this match against uh, Arth. And then it's going to be the loser's final. So, uh, losers from the winner's final against the winner of the loser semi-final. I don't know if it makes sense. <laughs> Hopefully it does. <laughs> Anyways, uh, getting on to the match. Bro, is this a run back, by the way? I think it is. If I'm correct. I think it's a run back. Ah, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, actually, Tsuzura fought a... But Hagyara, who sent him in the loser, so this is this is the second <laughs> Jago. He, he must not like this matchup much. Okay, Bra does take the advantage, uh, just as I say this by the way. So let's see if Bra can, uh, yeah, can can recreate the situation that uh, Hagyara had against Suzura in the winners final, in the winners bracket. We shall see. Nice for RC from Bra tries to get out of the corner, does so successfully. Goes for the 2k check. And here we go with the fake cross up. Should get the juggle. Oh, nice blocks from Bra. Probably noticed that Tuzura does like to pop the, the 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 overdrive very often. Nice grab from Tuzura. And here we go with the burst. Here we go with the sword throw and the 2HS2. Check the advancement of Bro. And again with the 2K2D for the kill. Tuzura taking the first round. Oh, the second round, sorry. Here we go with the checks yet again from Suzura, but Bra has managed to get the jump in. Going for the corner carry. And oh lord, that's 6p out of nowhere. That is sick. Thank you very much for the follow, Anki. Anki Spanky. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow and welcome to the bro drug. Anyways. <laughs> I don't know, it reminded me of uh, Mr. Hanky Spanky. I think it was. Mr. Hanky Spanky from South Park. I don't know why. Anyways, I, I, I love your, your handle, by the way. And thank you very much for the follow. Anyways, back to the match. And Bra, uh, currently with not the life lead, a slight life lead. Does have a lot of resource, though. Oh, better with the sword throw by Tsuzura. Gonna get the knockdown. 
Oh no! And the signature over wake up overdrive from Tsuzuda managed to snatch the win away. Good stuff. Tsuzuda takes the first round. Uh, the first round. Is Bro going to be able to adapt? Or is he gonna eat 1,000 different overdrives on wake up? We shall see. Start of the match, 60. Of course. It works. Oh, the big Twitch is a check from Tsuzurado. It's scooped by the 2D buff, bro. And bro with... Oh, tried... Oh, Lord! No, sir, you are not going to have me. Nice uh, use of DFD to uh, push Tsuzura away. Goes for the cross-up. But Tsuzura was on point. Here we go with the Akuma Fireball. Ooh. Uh, nope, no sword for you. Sword for you. And... Yeah, Tsuzura pushing bro in the corner. Goes for the sword throw again. And this round gets grabbed. Oh, tried to go for Shimmy, by the way. Oh, Shimmy. Oh, Lord. No! Too far to grab. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> that being said, here we go with Tsuda taking this opportunity to get a side switch. Doesn't use the uh, overdrive in order to get uh, guaranteed knockdown, but it's it's okay. Everything's fine. Oh, Lord. And that's Shimmy, though. And this is going to hurt. This is going to kill, actually. Oh, no. Bro. Bro. What are you doing, bro? Here we go to the Ram Slam, followed immediately by the Quick Dust for the kill. Or not, I like. Oh, and Bra using the Roman Cancel to catch the back dash of Tuzura. Very nicely done. On to the next battle. We have currently one match in favor of Tuzura. Tuzura force pop the burst. Bra resorting to apply pressure of his own. Gets a ton of trouble out of it. That goes for the grab. Goes for a big cross up. No, couldn't get the juggle. But it's still fine. And not enough to kill. Uh, nope. Nice blocks from Bra. And Bra using. Ooh, the guard point. In order to nullify the sword throw. That was genius. The stuff from Bra. Puts one on the board. Let's see if he can keep this up. No, oh, Kidoki. Okay, okay. Oh, again, man, with the 2D. Good 2K 2D from Bra. Oh, Lord! Catches Suzula, man. Catches Suzula, popping a burst. Here we go with the jumping from Bra. Gets the shimmy, man, and the tick attempt. Immediately into the Elysium Driver. This should have. Yeah, this is definitely going to kill my Any hit would have done, actually. Thanks to the wall splat and the wall break damage. And being said, here we go with the second round. Ah, Tsuzura with the close slash, forcing Bro to pop the burst. And Tsuzura with the two HS check. Ooh, gets the side switch. That was so strange. It didn't actually. Okay, Tsuzura probably finding his pace a little bit more. Ah, okay, should be able to seal the deal right there with the RC extension. Yes, you will. Good stuff from Tsuzura. On to the next battle. Oh, good lord. Here we go with the corner pressure. Ah, Tsuzura with the absolute pristine timing to press a button. And freaking Bra saying, okay, you want to pop? You want to pop overdrive in block strings? Yeah, be my guess. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Nice grab from Bra. Goes for the fake side switch. Ah, mistimed it, unfortunately. We go with the sword throw. Bro, forced to pop the burst. Ah, uh, and yeah, not enough to kill though, but good enough to deal a ton of damage. Okay, bro. Uh, I'm struggling to get in. I uh, tried to catch. It. Oh, what the hell was that? That was sick. That was intended. What is he gonna do? Oh no! Using the Calvados to punish the freaking. The, the 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 minion draw man that was sick that was sick good stuff from Tsuzura man okay and Bra trying to to corner Tsuzura Tsuzura finds a way out gets the jungle with the rank up going for the sword throw extension and kaboom ram slam for the wall break Again with the drum back 236. Good stuff from Tsuzura. He's gonna get the Calvados. Yes, he will. Calvados. 
Oh, almost. The <gasps> it almost killed. This is crazy. Bro has so much health left. But still gets hit in an Abari situation. Suzura on set point is Bra going to be eliminated but uh, from the tournament or is he going to be able to make a comeback? Nice jump in from Bra. Bra. Bra with the jumping uh, camera hit. Ah, uh, couldn't quite get the juggle though. Suzura with the Abari trying to get out of the corner. Oh lord, what was that? Was that a fuzzy to a sick? Okay, here we go with the Holy Charge Dust into the wall break. Bro, not, uh, not out of this yet. Gets the kill with the forest. Okay, so. Let's see what is. Is Suzura gonna be able to seal it? We shall see. Goes for the sword throw to get rid of the minions. Ah, uh, bro, almost cornered, but. Uh, Suzura almost cornered, but bro, man. Keeping tabs on where he is. Exactly. And keeping him in the corner. God, going straight for the Elysian Driver. For max damage. Wow, that was sick damage too. Almost killed. Okay, okay. I see you. Okay, bra with the freaking minion kill. Okay, bra puts one on, one on the board as well. Two, two, uh, two actually. Perfect tie. Let's see who takes it. Final round of this set. Nice sword throw from Suzura. Ooh. Poison brought to pop the burst. Here we go with the overhead. Ah, nowhere to where. Oh, okay, finally, Tsuda pops the burst. Saying, I'm had it. I've had it with you. Good this stuff from Bro, getting the juggle. Trying to read that overdrive attempt. Oh, good check right there from Tsuda. I don't believe it's the 2S that she uses. I'm not quite sure. Oh lord, the shimmy, but no punish! No, you hate to see it! Nice grab from Bro again, man. He's been really on. Oh no! Not like this! Not like this! Again with the overdrive, man! Tsuzura, man! The magician! It's crazy! Tsuzura has been on point with almost every single one of his, uh. His, his, his Abare overdrive, if I might call it. Again with the overdrive. Gonna get the wall break. And the empty low, the empty jump. Oh, okay. A little bit too close to get the sword throw. Uh, to, to have it, like, burst safe. Ah, here we go with Calvados. Calvados. Nice 6P, man. Is it on the verge of sealing it? Gets it by the 2K2D, though. Oh, and bro, face that burst. Go straight into Elysium Driver. Damn! Bro, not letting it up, man. Good stuff. Okay, let's see what is going to be. Oh, Lord, what is going to be the. Oh, and the sword throw for the kill. And just like this, dude, I live in it. to find players to play against with. Whereas, if you use a VPN, apparently it makes it uh, so much more easier to find like uh, players against you you can play. So, it's not a hard requirement, but it's uh, it's really, really recommended if you intend to play with a lot of different people and have a lot of different options, basically, I suppose. That, that, that's what I, I think uh, Timpo is trying to say. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, okay, well, I wasn't aware of it. That's strange. It probably has to do with the way that internet is, like installed in China or whatever, or the, the infrastructures or whatever, I really don't know. If you want to play against other players besides China, you... Ah! Okay, so without VPN, you're only stuck playing against Chinese people, basically. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, okay, I got you. Be Begum Fendi, okay, I, under I understand you as well. So, what uh, Timko is saying is that, okay, if you don't use the VPN, you can only play uh, with Chinese... Uh, well, with people who, who are in China and who play the game in China. Whereas, if you use a VPN, you can play against people who are outside of uh, China mainland. Okay, I got it. This makes sense. This makes sense. Okay, okay. Whereas the, the, the requirement for Xiri to play with a VPN. Okay, okay, that's uh, that's interesting. That's an interesting uh, information, if you ask me. Okay. Well, uh, okay, that's cool to know. I, I learned a new thing, actually. I wasn't aware. Okay, anyways, here we go with the jump in by Xiri. Actually, Xiri down one match. Let's see if Nage, <laughs> Nage being extremely freaking uh, very, very, um, very active and very aggressive. Okay, here's the forest. 
But even if you want to play people in China, sometimes you will need a VPN. Yeah, China is so big, so... So it might make sense that, yeah, not not every region is, like, submitted to... Wow, that was sick. It was, uh, it was uh... It's plagued by it, the fact that, uh... You're only stuck to one certain infrastructure or not. But still, it's interesting. It's really, really interesting. It's an interesting piece of advice. A uh, piece of information. That being said, well, yeah, you can see, holy freaking lord, now you're making quick work of uh, Xeri, and we are going to uh, get to see the end of this match. <laughs> and it started around for his counter hit. Oh lord! Okay, and here we go, Nage putting so much stuff on the board. Uh, going with uh, the weights. He's got another set of... Little Faust coming out to play, gets the standing K entire. Good stuff from Xiri to jump out of the um, the cavalry pressure. Wow, what the freak happened? Okay, again with Mini Faust, keeping Xiri on point. Yeah, Nagi having some problem trying to make his way in though. Very nice take right there from Nagi, goes for the command grab. <laughs> okay, ah, here we go with the jump in. Xiri not. Yeah, committing not to spend his burst. Good stuff. The yeah, first round goes to Nage. Is Xiri gonna be able to reverse the momentum? We shall see. Here we go. Ah, Meteor incoming. Oh, Lord. Ah, Xiri has the trumpet. Unfortunately, oh, Lord, the mixes are real. Almost got the juggle off of the wig explosion, though. Damn, uh, the freaking conversion station, man. Oh, couldn't quite get the wall break, though. But still, okay, he has the... Oh, uh, okay, he's got the cavalry to make his... Uh, to make his mix, mix, mix safe. And just like this, man, Nage up 2-0. to zero. Let's see if Xiri is going to be able to bring it back. Or if Nage is just going to take it a clean 3-0, to zero, we shall see. Okay, and here we go with the clash. Good stuff from Zeri. Ah, uh, gets hit by the weight and additionally gets command grabbed. Here we go with the jump and... Ah, uh, unfortunately the Totsugeki gets hit by the weight explosion. That being said, Zeri did have a cavalry. This time around should be Nage with... Oh lord! The 6P man, not afraid. Again man with the weights. Oh lord, look at that, look at all of the stuff that they Oh lord, that freaking juggle was sick! That juggle was sick! Good stuff from- Oh man, that corner pressure man from Nage. We got the jump in from Nage, trying to find the opening. Oh, nice bar from Nage. Gonna get the corner carry, there's a wait. Go with the empty low. Ah, Nage with the bomb. Ah, go straight for the teleportation using the scarecrow quick roman cancel into the command grab ah here we go with the overhead overhead again a little bit too far oh big two hs counter hit ah this should not be enough nah it's not really enough not nearly nice so to get key man ah but little faust man little faust not letting you do what you want to do okay again with the totsugeki you should be able to- Oh no! And the banana! The banana! Oh, the side swing was sick! That was sick! Using the explosion of the banana and combined with battle, Ara versus Tsuzura. Yet again, another Faust. Always welcome, obviously, against Tsuzura. Tsuzura with a very nice run today, not going to lie. Managed to make his way out up until the, uh, the, 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 the actual loser semifinal. That being said, today we had a lot of big killers and big killers who got eliminated by other players, man. For example, Dark Necro losing to uh, Usuiburi, which is very, very surprising. And Dark Necro was sent to the losers by uh, who? Who sent Dark Necro? Xiri sending. Here you go. Xiri sent Dark Necro to the losers. So that's a testament to of how strong the player is, man. Good stuff from Xiri, man. Very, very strong. Uh, that being said, here we go with the corner. Ah, juggle and death by RF. Good stuff from RF. Takes the first round. Very, very convincing. Let's see if Tsuzura can manage to bring it back. Nice forest. Counter hit right here from RF. Gets a nice corner carry. 
Ow, oh, but Suzuna waking up with the Nabari. Ooh, tries to catch something with the 2S. Ah, the big dive right here from our... Oh, Lord. That was sick. There we go, the corner pressure from Suzuna trying to get something started. Goes for the low. Thank you very much for the follow, Alexi Frog, and welcome to the burn. Okay, and here we go with... Ah, Lloyd, the bomb throw. Ah, Suzuna using the soy throw in order to nullify whatever. Alright, for trying to throw at them. And Suzuna so getting killed by their own... By the bomb. <laughs> Good stuff from Arif. Takes the first match. Let's see how this spins out. Duo one indeed. Big, big, big serve of the round with RF with a counter hit all right off the bat. Here we go with the air to air, man. And oh, the Abari. The burst from Tsuzura. Nice XP from Tsuzura, but gets sent tired yet again by RF. It's a nice little juggle in the corner. Oh, look how many stuff is on the freaking tree. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure, man. Ah, we're getting the juggle and go straight into the overdrive for guaranteed kill. I did. <laughs> that face from Ramless Hall, though. RF taking the first round of the second map. Definitely on a speed train. Ah, nice back dash right there from RF. Goes for the forest. Tries to push Tuzura away so that he can catch. So that he can grab the uh, the trumpet easily. Nice overhead. And ah, uh, Tsuzura, man. Oh, Tsuzura benefiting from catching the trumpet, though. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go with the 2K, man. This move goes so high. Okay, here we go with the sword throw. Tsuzura again with the pressure. Goes for a reset using the overhead. Head. Oh, Lord. Oh, fails to get the juggle. You hate to see it. But still okay. Goes straight for Kalvodas after... So it will confirm. Is this gonna? Of course. What 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 dumb question is this? Of course it's gonna kill. <laughs> Good stuff from Tuzura. Oh, again, Tuzura right off the start of the round. Two S. Again, people get get always hit by this. A blocked uh, Faust dive into the mix mix mix. I always get hit by this personally all the freaking time. You think you can punish him, but you can't. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the counter hit. RF taking back his turn using the cavalry. And Suzuda content to just activate little Faust and run from one corner to the other one. Ah, oh, Lord. Ah, oh, here we go, the RC. Suzuda trying to fish for something. Wow. Almost got the uh, second hit of a wreck up with punish here. Oh, could find the opening, but. Oh, Lord, here we go. Uh, it's corner time. It's corner time, sir. Wow, and just like this, man, Suzuna puts one on the board as well. Good lord. The damage on that overhead and drive. And Suzuna taking, putting one on the board. Still not enough to take it, obviously. But still, uh, it's still, uh, still a start. Okay. And here we go with the spear. Nice block from Tuzura. Gets hit by the forest. Sweep though. Again with the forest man. The Arv definitely onto something. Oh, but here we go with the jump in by Tuzura. Oh, goes for the 6B. Very nicely done by Tuzura. Oh, Lord, the whiff punish are real. Was that a good idea? I do not know. Oh, goes air to air and gets the final hit. The most damaging hit of the laser. That was pretty nice, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, yeah, but yeah, it's not over. And here we go with RF taking it with the quick dust counter hit. No, uh, the quick dust style. Yeah. The quick dust. Do that with the sword throw against the corner carry. Absolutely wants RF to press a button. Again with the sword throw, goes for the reset, but gets grabbed by the RF. This is unfortunate. Here we go to jump in. Oh, and Suzuna with the freaking overdrive in the block stream. Of course. Nice blocks by Suzuna, but no punish on the, the mix, mix, mix. Actually, I don't know if uh, Ram can punish it. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Suzuna getting hit by everything right now. Again with the quick dust. 
Oh, and the mix, mix, mix for the wall break and the kill. Okay, Rath. Taking the lead 2 to 1. Let's see if Tsuda can make a comeback. Oh lord, and RF with the spear into the golf club. I uh, just wanted to get uh, more more, um, more space, which is understandable. Good stuff from RF. Or I think he kind of had an execution error, I guess, because he can probably... He can definitely, like, uh, convert off of this. But I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not too knowledgeable in the character to make an uneducated uh, guess about it. Oh lord, here we go, the closest, man. And RF... Oh no! No, RF! No! Why did you try to style? And here we go with that. Uh, the, the dive kick for the kill. We are on set point for RF. Is that going to make a comeback? We shall see. Nice for us. From RF to check the uh, to check the advance uh, the advances of Suzura. The dashes from Suzura. Oh lord, very nice punish on the gold burst. Suzura on his last leg right now, doesn't have any resource. Gets it by the cavalry. RF with little Faust. Oh lord, what the hell was that? And Suzura taking the oh the trump at the last possible minute. Here we go to jump in, but saved by the freaking hammer. You hate to see it. Forrest. Ah, oh, Lord. Ah, oh, jump in, maybe. Here we go with... Oh, RF, man. RF the, oh, no, what was that? And RF with the whiff on it for the kill. Good stuff from RF. Takes it a clean 3-1. to one. Okay. So, Xiri versus RF. This is the loser's semi... The loser's final, actually. The one who wins this one will get the right to fight against none other than the current uh, grand finalist who is none other than a nage so let's see how this pans out rf off with a strong start actually it's uh it's oh okay well <laughs> scrap that <laughs> commentators curse so uh, ziri actually onto a strong start all a strong start already managed to make rf use his burst has the corner pressure Went for the grab, found it, and here we go with the fake, uh, the fake uh, jump from the delayed jump. Actually, from Zeri manages to get the kill with the Totsugeki. Let's see what is RF gonna do. What is he gonna do? Oh, here we go with the Totsugeki getting hit by the spear. RF with the air to air lands on his own banana, unfortunately. Uh, nice checks from Zeri. Uh, but unfortunately, RF is being a little bit too uh, passive, I suppose. Waiting for a reaction. Not going forward. Ah, but yeah, it's probably the way the, the match is intended to play. I do uh, recall Nage being a little bit more aggressive, though. And that working very well for him. And here we go with the wall break. RF not out of this yet. Was for the jump in. RF with the knockdown. Of course, Soul Calibur music. Of course, Soul Calibur 2 music, actually. This is the music from the port. I love it. Reminds me of uh, Pirate of the Caribbean for some reason. <laughs> but I love this song. This song is really cool. One of my favorite in Soul Calibur, by the way. Together with the uh, the main theme, the, the intro theme of uh, of uh, Soul Calibur 2. Uh, the intro theme, freaking... It, it, uh, it, it's so good. I really love it so much. Anyways, here we go with the corner pressure from RF. Ah, uh, Xiri out of the corner. Oh, Lord, and the jump in. Oh, me too. Well, it's not my first uh, fighting game, but it's definitely my childhood. Well, my, I'd say my uh, teenagerhood. <laughs> I was, I was, what, what age was I? I think I was 14 to 15 at the time it came out, around that time. Uh, maybe less, I guess. No, no, I was actually, I was actually 15-ish. I'll say 14 just to be your shirt. But yeah, it was definitely a very, very nice, uh, a fun memory. I even imported it from Japan because it didn't come out in in Europe uh, like uh, quick enough. I wanted to have it like early on, so I I had this thing called the Freeloader that was usable on GameCube and that enabled you to play like Japanese uh, soft on your uh, European uh, and probably American. Uh, GameCube as well. And I just imported Soul Calibur 2 and I played it. It was so good, man. It was so good. 
I didn't understand anything from the story, obviously, because I didn't speak Japanese at the time, but it was so, so interesting. Anyways, that being said, here we go with the jump in by Xeri, trying to find the opening. Xeri finding the opening right now. Oh, Lord, and look, look, the time, the time is up! But RF manages to seal the deal before the clock runs out. Good stuff from RF takes the first match pretty convincingly. 2K and Dire. Everything in Dire is with this character, bro. <laughs> Everything. Thank you, for, uh, thank you for the follow, by the way. Lucky Qs, and welcome to the bro, Josh. Okay, news. Here we go. With, ooh, item toss uh, galore right there from RF. RF finding a chance to send deer in the corner, unfortunately. Mr. Dolphin says, no, I'm not going to let you do so. And Xiri Man with the corner pressure goes for the freaking whale. Kaboom! Fujita-san! What is going to be the mix? Close S for the opening and Xiri with the quick Roman cancel into the 2k 2d for the kill. Very nicely done. <clears throat> Round start sweep for Xiri finds the opening. RF in pretty dire straight. Almost got hit by the... <coughs> I'm sorry, by the uh, Holy Charge Dust, by the way. Nice here to wear from RF. Ooh. Oh, no entire. Ah, uh, that makes... Yeah, yeah. Xiri has to hold it. There we go. RF finds the opening. Goes for the closest. Counter hit. Gets it. Ah, nice check from RF. Xiri being very patient goes for Arisugawa-san, goes for the Abare right after to get rid of the uh, the Mix Mix Mix. Wow, and RF with the freaking YRC. He doesn't do it very often, but when he does, it's very surprising. Oh, Lord, you go to the forest. Oh, Lord, and the standing K, man. The standing K for the entire. Minasan, Akshu. Wow, and yeah, Xiri getting back some a lot of life thanks to the... The items of uh of RF. Thankfully for him. And but he has to hold the bomb. Gets it by Oh no! No, not like this. Oh careful! Yes, I knew it was coming. As soon as you see these meteors, you have to be prepared to block the other way, man. As soon as you see them. Okay, anyways, here we go with the uh third match. Uh, the third round of this uh, second match, okay. Very nice way punish from RF. Gets it by Totsuki Go. We go DMT low, Little Faust is here to play. Why won't you play with me? Says Little Faust. Good stuff from RF. Ah, gonna get the hammer time. Nice awareness from uh, Giri not to press anything while the hammer was in the air. Ah, but here we go with the knockdown, catches the back dash. Ah, to take a key indeed. Ah, RF forcing Giri to pop the burst. <laughs> Or of getting hit by a big 5H and just for his life freaking melted away because of it. Good stuff from Zeri. Puts one on the board with with that freaking that hype that hype afro. That was sick. Look at him. There you go. Oh, nice check right there from Zeri. Catching or if throwing one too many mix mix mix. Oh, or if with the golden burst, man goes for wow, goes for the command grab. Good stuff from our everyone with the jump in. Oh lord. Ah, uh, the pressure is real. Oh, RF with the quick Roman cancel. Well, the quick dust into the Roman cancel. Nice air to air from Xiri. Couldn't quite get the juggle though. Here we go to Totsugeki. Again with the 5H. Oh, this time around the forest neutralizes it. And RF benefits from a pretty nice uh, corner carry combo. Ooh, here we go to the bomb. <laughs> that was sick. Jab, 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 block the bomb. Jab, jab, jab. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, these Faust players are built differently. They are, they are. The awareness of these dudes, the, the, the multitasking of these dudes is out of this world. I would have definitely gotten hit by the bomb at that time. Definitely. You can bet your ass I would have. Now, that was sick. Again with the jab, jab. <laughs> this is so funny. And he, oh lord, Air Xir in the house, y'all. And just like this, he manages to take it. That was sick. Good stuff from Xir, bringing it back. Holy freaking lord. Get on to the next uh, battle. Here we go, Xir, trying to get that uh, knockdown. That god blessed uh, knockdown. Oh, here we go to jump in, but RF was on point. Oh lord, and that golden burst, though. Ah, uh, no punish right there. Well, it's hard to punish this knife anyway, so. 
Oh lord, the two S to neutralize the uh I suppose it was the overhead attempt? I think. If I remember correctly. Oh the checks man on the Oh Lord. Xiri man! Xiri on the verge of bringing it back! Holy freaking lord! Okay, 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 I see you. I see you, I see you. And just like this, we have ships, the noofs theme right here. Suck a sage. Oh, okay, here we go with the far S again from RF. Little Faust is not is not helping his father out right now. Oh lord, not at all. And here we go, Xeri man. Oh, tries to go for an empty low, I'm sure. Major Penis is terrifying. Oh, did talk me out. Tell me about it. My favorite move in the game. You get hit by it and counter hit in the corner. It's 50%. Well, it's 60%. Of oh no! Okay, nice stuff from Xeri. The cojones on this dude. Oh, and shoot, man! Look at that! Xeri just like this on the verge of sending Arf out of the tourney! Damn! Okay, let's see how this spins out. Xeri, man, definitely feeling himself. Oh, and the 2D counter hit! Look at the damage, Arf! Look at the damage! Look at the damage! Ah, Guilty Gear! Ah, Guilty Gear! <laughs> Lord! She needs it! She needs it, man! She does! She absolutely needs it! <laughs> Slash! Good lord! This character, but, 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 yeah, don't discount RF out, man. This dude is not out till it's out, but he's out! And just like this, man, Xeri takes RF out. Last match of today, unless if there is a bracket, if there is a bracket reset. This is the grand final, Nage versus Xeri. Here we go! Let's go, Xeri. Let's go, Nage. As well. I'm sorry, I forgot to update the flag of Xeri. Let me do so right away. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, so China versus Japan. Let's see how this spins out. For now, very nice start of the round for Xeri. Very nice 6P by Xeri. Totsugek indeed. Nice checks right there from Nage, man. <gasps> and Xiri just run up, grab. This is sick. <laughs> Nage noticing that Xiri was probably going to go for... What the hell? Was it go for the uh, the, the trumpet? Woo! Oh, Lord. A little bit too far to get anything. <gasps> but the 2S counter hit in the jungle for the kill. Xiri on point, man. Holy freaking Lord. On to the next battle. Is Nagi gonna be able to seal the deal? Let's see. Ooh, Lord, in the jump in. That was a huge jump in by Nagi. Nagi getting. Yeah, getting grabbed. What is Nagi gonna do? Here we go. To, oh, no, 6P, sir. Here we go with Xiri using every single tricks in the book. Not enough to kill, but yeah, look at the life of Nagi. This, if Nagi makes a comeback. Ooh, ooh, done freaking round start. Post freaking wall break. Straight into the overdrive. If that isn't a read, I don't know what is. That is sick. Oh, Lord. Nage almost got hit right there. Ah, uh, Nage going for the... Oh, Lord. The air to air. Not over till it's over. Here we go with the RC. Thankfully for... No, oh, Nage gets hit by the Totsuge. But it's still okay. Xiri taking the lead. One, two, well, actually not the lead, but taking the first match. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Then three points going to the bank. Exactly. Going to me. <laughs> I love it when I love it when money comes in. <laughs> Here's here we go to jump in. Very nice six spear there from Nage. In extremis as we say. In Latin. And here we go with the far two. Okay, with the far K. Oh good lord man. And Nage with a cross of a mix mix mix. Schmix mix mix. Woo! Good stuff from Nage. Uses the TP to get out of the corner. Goes for the mix mix mix. Ah, uh, goes for the... Wow, this is impossible to see. How many, how many layers, sir? Would you like some layers in your layers? <laughs> it's impossible to see what Nagi is doing, man. It's crazy. Anyways, here we go to jump in. Woo! Nice 2S, unfortunately. Siri did have it blocked. Nerf Faust to Stonks. To Stonks head, yeah. Oh, Lord, and Nagi with the freaking dive kick. Good stuff. That was good stuff. Okay, anyways, let's see how this spins out. Start of the round, Totsugeki, but instant block by Nage. Oh, nice sweep from Nage. Oh, good lord. 
Oh, it's also Ikki getting hit by the spear. And Viri walking on the banana peel. Oh, good. So what? what is going on? You could clearly see that Nage was trying to go for uh, the burst bait. But Viri did not bite, thankfully for him. Nice 6 speed from Zeri, gonna get the 2D counter hit. Couldn't quite continue anything because of the bomb behind him. We go the air to her again with the bomb. Ah, and Nage with the dive again counter hit. Woo! Goes for the freaking side switch using the meteorites in order to well side switch his opponent. Oh, look at the damage. Oh, Lord Zeri, man, with the overhead. Tries to seal the deal. No! There we go, the close pressure. Yeah. Now you're trying to bait that tech man, but Ziri not biting. Woo. Good lord. There we go with Ali Sugawa-san and the freak. Oh no! That was so unfortunate from Ziri. But Nage takes the second match. Let's see how this ends up. Okay, on to the second, to the next match. Thank you very much for the follow, slashed, and welcome to the Brojo. Good lord! Here we go with uh, the burst from Nage. Oh, and what you can do, I can do better. I'm a gold burst you. Okay, Ziri trying to find the opening. Unfortunately, forced to pop the, uh, forced to block, actually. Thank you very much for the follow, Andre's, uh, Andre Ryuzaki, and welcome to the Brojo. Here we go with... Oh, lord, Ziri taking it, man! Good stuff from Ziri. Takes the first round of the second, the third match, actually. Ziri not going down without a fight. Whew. And the Totogeki, man. Ziri going for the grab. Uh, goes for the fake cross up. And the overhead. Nice little ass, man. Oh, Lord, no. Can't, couldn't get the juggle too far. Too far, so sad. Too bad, so sad. Oh, and Ziri going straight for the Roman cancel. Uh, little Faust is definitely being a pain. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, nice losses. Ah, uh, Nagi going for the wall break. Oh, okay, Gary, what is going to be uh, the next? Oh, Lord. Okay, they're really trying really hard to seal the deal once they have that reset. Oh, Lord, and the checks, man. The checks from Ziri. Oh, Nagi the god. No! No, no, Nagi did it a little bit too early. You need to see it. He did it a tad bit too early. Okay, here we go. Nagi getting hit by the flies. Okay, well, Gary, one match away from the reset. Are we going to see a reset? We shall see. Good lord. Okay, what is Nagi gonna do? Good lord. Okay, here we go with the standing 2k, well, the standing k for the entire. Oh, look! The trait. Oh, Nagi on point with the entire, man. You cannot test this, man. And here we go with the double mix, mix, mix. Nice 6 speed from Nagi. Uh, here we go with the, a bar from Nagi. Nagi still holding on to his uh, burst. Didn't have to burst, actually. Let's go, Dolphin Power. <laughs> We go to Totsugeki though. Ah, nice stuff from Nage. Ah, gets it by the Totsugeki counter hit. The double Totsugeki, and just like this with the grab. Ziri on a reset point. What is Nage gonna do? Nice punish right there from Nage. No entire, yes, entire. Not over till it's over. You go to safe jump. Caught you trying to jump out of pressure, ma'am. Oh, the freaking dog, oh, no! That freaking juggle was sick! Nagi, the freaking Faust God, man. Good stuff. Oh, Lord, here we go with the jump in and the uh, mix, mix, mix. A little bit too close for that, but it's still fine. It's fine. Oh, Lord, and the grab. I hope you didn't. Yeah, okay, perfect. Good Lord. Ah, too late for the, the trumpet, but it's still okay. Forest for the kill. Good stuff. From Nage, not out of this yet. Definitely needs the next one if he wants to stop the reset, though. Oh, okay, here we go with that overhead. Nice check right there from... Oh, Lord. And that spear, though, straight into the dolphin. Which is ominous. 
Anyways, here we go with the closest counter, the closest pressure. Ooh, no one home on this overhead though. Here we go. Ah, the air two are in favor of Leary. Good stuff. Nice with punish though from Nagi. Nagi only had light. Ah, now you go with the air two air, man. Ah, little passes out. I don't do. Oh, that. Ah, man. Oh, dead backdash though. That backdash route was sick. And here we go with Nagi going for the command grab. Uh, goes for the double overhead. Uh, goes for the side switch. And this should do. Nage staying alive. That, that combo was sick, by the way. <laughs> that combo was so sick. Good stuff from Nage. Takes uh, the fourth match, actually. We are going down to the wire. Let's see how this pans out. Damn, today's tournament was really long, though. <laughs> Three hours and 15 minutes, yo. Holy freaking lord. We had a lot of, uh, like, very clutch match, like, uh, matches going down to the wire, the absolute final match, so it's only understandable. Wow, that freaking juggle, though. Go take a key! Okay, oh, he fast trying to get out of pressure, and successfully does so. We go to take pressure. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, good stuff from Faust. Uh, nice stuff from Xeric, finds the opening with the grab, goes for the delayed overhead. Uh, my head is a bomb. Oh, Lord. Okay, Nagi. Uh, Nagi not committing to... Oh, good stuff. Nice block. From Nagi. Oh, he tried to go for a command grab. Oh, you can see Xeri hesitate. Oh, no, this is bad. Yeah, this is death, by the way. Nice recognition from, uh, from Xeri knowing that... Uh, Nagi was not safe on, on the on the on the recovery of his uh, his mix mix mix. Damn, is this going to do a reset, man? This is gonna be freaking hard. Xeri, man. Oh lord. Let's okay, go, Xeri. Oh, getting grabbed. Nice backdash from Faust, from uh, from Nagi into the grab. Oh lord. Okay, here we go with the 2S sweep. Little Faust is here to play. It's exactly what. Uh, what Nagi wanted, and he goes for the command grab. Okay, here we go with the tick pressure. Probably thought that a burst was incoming, that's the reason why he stopped his pressure, I think. Wow, the big counter hit. Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord! Okay, Xiri. Xiri deciding to keep his burst for the next round, which is definitely understandable. Good stuff from... Uh, Nage, let's see how this spins out. Good lord. Oh, okay, here we go with the far S counter hit. Go to get key for the pressure. Oh, Nage getting grabbed, which is actually pretty ironic. Because Nage means grab in uh, in Japanese. Anyways, uh, here we go with back to the neutral. I exert like trying to get the sweep in. Ooh, the big 5H. Not counter hit, thankfully for Nage. Nage going for the spear. Uh, this is looking pretty bad for Nage. Not gonna lie. Oh, nice save by the little Faust. No, not like this, but still okay. Very nice awareness from Nage to actually cancel uh, the recovery frames of his. Oh, Lord. Yeah. A good grab from Nage. He's just one mix away from taking it. One mix away from taking it, but the man, the freaking ah, uh, the defense of Xir is definitely no freaking joke, man. The defense of this man. Okay, good stuff. He wanted the gold burst, he got it. Ah, uh, this is looking pretty bleak for Xiri. Good line, the trade for Nage, taking it from the skin of his.